What's good, what's good, what's good? We're another episode of Compuros Compas Parques con su compa Carlos Rodríguez. Mi su compa, compa El Bardo. Aquí ando hey, le estoy diciendo, el pinche José te está hablando fuerte, güey. I know, he's fucking feeling tough. Shout out to Sound Guy. Always. Always, Always. before we forget. José Cermeño, Sound Guy. Tell Porque se agüita, güey. Si no, if we don't say... Nah, ¿cómo se agüita? Siempre lo mandamos a saludar. Nomás se agüitó cuando no lo invitamos allá para Compuros con Compas and Filter. Ah, shout oh, out, stop. shout out. Checo, no, we. Compass and Filter. Compass and Filter, un saludo para ellos. Pero, yeah, este, antes de presentarles, I just want to let you know that Jose is talking to you a, a little hard today, bro. So you better watch what you say about him. All right, we'll take, we'll take care of him at the end of the pod. Este, well, there's another episode, another good episode. Uh, para todos los que siguen uh, listening on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, and listening on YouTube, you guys are very close to seeing us on YouTube starting January 2022. We will have video available for everybody, so go subscribe to Compuros Compas Podcast. Uh, we want to thank you guys on Instagram for having about, uh, I think it's 500 followers now, and let's keep adding it up. We need those 500 followers to become 500 subscribers and seguir aumentando. Subscribe, para que, subscribe, subscribe. Sí, sí, para que este, you know, so we can get the YouTube channel up and running and, and get monetized. Uh, get our good forty dollars every two months and shit. <laughs> But uh, yeah. más que nada, pues para que la gente pueda ver nuestras <laughs> lindas caras, cada cada vez que estamos echando un café y un toquecito. Best combination, by the way. Yeah, I, they, I was yeah. told when I was very young. They told me once, uh, when you, when you get older, you're gonna appreciate a good joint and a good hot cup of coffee. Sí, sí. And I have to fucking one thousand percent agree, bro. So. Se está presando la temperatura para eso. And usually I come in here with my coffee. I, even though I do iced coffee, compa. You do, do iced ice coffee. coffee. But I like to smoke me a little drink I respect and it because you do, you, do, uh, you do iced coffee with, um, with whipped cream. And, and, <laughs> no, and I don't. You're full of shit, bro. With man. caramel on top. <laughs> <laughs> pero hoy, hoy, no, hoy, hoy no traje, culero. Hoy no hoy traje. No traje. Now hoy you are se presta el día. Some, hoy se presta el día. You're sipping on some my sal. On some my sal with sal and limón, yes, compa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fire. I seen that. Which I better take it easy on because, you know, having this... You already know the trick, Having this Casa Mildes <laughs> and a little smoke, never, and, um, you know, it could be bad. Not coincidentally, but coincidentally enough, coincidentally. Este, our, our guests today are the actual Casa Mildes uh, oh, well. founders, makers, compa, los hermanos José López y Javier López. Hell yeah. Este, which we've had them on the El Guacpan yes, when sir. we did it from the brew yards. And I wanted to get him on here, and we're going to keep bringing him on so we can, when we do the video, but uh, welcome, guys. I did uh, thank you guys for making a little bit of time for us and, and stopping by on a nice Tuesday afternoon. Thank evening. you, man. Oh, thank you for having us. Thank you guys for having us. Thanks Come for on, then. Good. ¿Qué tal los trata el frío? It's not too bad yet. Not too bad today, right? Yet. Uh, yeah. I'm wearing my winter coat. So yeah. Okay. Winter <laughs> coat. Sweater. This dude got my some sweater. windbreaker on. He's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> And he's got shorts on. No, <laughs> hey, I'm feeling it more than ever now than I used to. Like two, three years ago, I was still good. Es son los años. Last es year, son yeah, los yeah, años. Bro, I'm like, fuck. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. That's for sure. And it, it only gets worse, bro. Uh, so I hear. Yeah, I'm going to let you know right now. So I, I was telling Bart I had a bum knee like two weeks ago, the day of our anniversary. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he said, I, I don't know. Yes. I'm like, nah, that don't sound right. After your anniversary, oh, you probably fell or something, yeah. dog. I'm sure you were having a lot nah, of fun he, that He's day. like, yeah, my knee. I'm like, did you... Grab something wrong, a keg or a move trip, something. He's like, nah, none of that. Were you dancing quebradita? <laughs> or, yeah. 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 El pedo. <laughs> Estaba bailando con la Lamento Show, Hell mi compa yeah. Javi. Damn, man. Yeah, it was crazy. I'm like, man, that's what happens. It hit 37. It's falling apart. <laughs> man. 37. <laughs> well, it only gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I can tell you that by experience. Oh, shit. But uh, I'm happy you guys are here with it because... Yeah. Uh, You know, in the walk pad, obviously, we had just kind of met. Now we've known each other for more, a longer time, and we've done 
more events and oh, yeah. just there's more um I guess there's more of a friendship uh, other than than the whole business aspect of yeah. it. I think there's I must confianza for sure. Oh, for sure. So yep, um, definitely. You know, I want you guys to come in here and, and obviously feel comfortable and talk to us and explain to everybody that's listening. You know, because the Casa Humilde brand, I'm not gonna say that since the guac pots, are, but you know, a lot of a lot of the people that now we see on our stories drinking it, you know, they do tell us because of the guac pot, and mm -hmm. and I hope that you guys. Um, that you guys also, you know, talk to the people uh, about your 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 beer and everything that's coming up and everything that's that's uh, happening. You guys just had your two year anniversary mm -hmm. with Lamento Show, which I know that you know for you guys it was a big thing. I know for Jose, who's the music guy, um, you know, it went from uh, listening to Lamento Show growing up to yeah. fucking having them at your guys' anniversary. Right? That's pretty. So dope, I mean, man. I, I thought that was pretty badass. I, you know? Dude, I remember getting Lament, buying Lamento show like the old school, old school, like the tapes and las quinceañeras y las bodas y todo. You would go and buy the actual cassettes wow. from, from them. Definitely the cassettes, not even the CDs. No, mm -hmm. Definitely, oh. we'll wear them out for sure. Yeah, you know, on, on those trips to Mexico, we Hell definitely. Yeah. I remember. I don't know if it was you or Jose was telling me that whenever you guys would drive to Mexico, it was Lamento show. A lot of the time, too, right? I listen to a lot of that, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of Norteño sax, man, from from, from Durango. Yeah. I remember back. So, so del quemado, los yeah, tarados. there was a group yes, I really used to like back then called Los Traviesos de Durango. Ah, come on, yeah, 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 yeah. I was jammed to those motherfuckers all the time. Y luego, man, honestly, like for me, it was I used to buy every like Tigres del Norte city because I love Tigres too. We grew up on Ramon Ayala, Los Relámpagos, Fernando Reina. All that stuff, man. So even fuck Tucanes. I remember el, el cassette that had uh, Mundo de Amor on it. I would play the shit out of that. I was all over, man. Fujitivos, I, I, was, I would jam to. What? Un poquito de todo, bro. Y los muchachos. Yeah, hell yeah. Barrio. Bart yeah, don't know about that shit. I do know about that. That's yeah. fingery thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, these motherfuckers. Man. But um, yeah, man, that was a good time at the, at the, at the anniversary, though, <laughs> oh, this yeah. year. No la pasamos muy chingón, ni pa' qué. But um, yeah, man. Um, talk to us about um, how it all started. I know that we talked a little bit about it on the Guac Pod, but I do want, you know, I do want the people to hear it on this side of the sto uh, this side of the of the pod to know um, a little bit behind the, the whole, you know, concept of how you guys started. Because even to this day, wait, no por nada. Like again, ya hay más confianza, hay más tiempo. But I still sometimes like the day that I went to the anniversary, I'll go and I'll fucking just stare at the brewery. And I'm just like, how the fuck did these guys just fucking, like, do this? Like, I mean, uh, sit there and think about, like, we're going to come up with a beer, you know? And fucking not just a beer. Like, what is it now? Is it 13 styles I, of beer? I think we, we usually have, like, 10 to 12 beers out, like, on draft or out on the market. Okay. Um, but I think we've... We've probably we've done, done like close least, to 20. Yeah, we've done close to 20. 20 shit. different beers, yeah. And then now you guys are even fucking, like... um. Uh, I just seen your brand new, uh, the Cantarito, which is like a oh, seltzer. A seltzer yeah. Yeah. So now you guys are diving into the seltzer yeah. world, yeah. which is like fucking huge. It's a big market. It's, it's really huge. Market. Yeah. Yeah. And why it's why not be be it why you not, guys as well? Why I not mean, have a little piece of that kind of for, yeah. for our people, man? Like the Cantarito one, it's it's pretty cool, man, because we, we have it on draft only right now. Um, maybe two months from now it'll be out uh, in cans. Now will we, it be like a like a seltzer can? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like but it won't be like a skinny. No, no, no. It won't we're be gonna, skinny. We're probably gonna size. do the sixteen ounce. Oh, nice. yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. See, I was Pop thinking it. about. I wonder how these guys are gonna do that. No, hey, I mean, we got some some cool stuff coming up too. What uh, what percent is that? If if it's, it's five, five. Yeah. it's a five. It's five. Okay. Yeah. But I'm but sure five. five yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say fuck it. But I'm coming out. We're coming out with the five percent. We're also coming out with a twelve percent. Hell, seltzer, yeah. 12 percent seltzer. Yeah. Wow. Shit. Well, that's gonna be like a hard, in a sixteen hard ounce can. One, <laughs> one. That's all you're yeah. gonna need. I think eventually, as we as we grow and get and have the capacity to do other sizes, we will do other sizes. Like some of the cans that, that we have now, like my sal, all the sixteen ounce cans, we eventually want to do like in twelve ounce cans as well. Ah, um, okay. just as as we're able to as we grow. Yeah, because because there's people who who prefer that format. You know, for yeah. some people don't want to commit to a full full pint of full tall boy so we'll have other stuff out there man yeah. wow that seltzer and it's gonna be the same one yeah yeah, yeah yeah so yeah. It, that seltzer is dope man we only have it on draft and it, it's killing it's killing for us people are enjoying it every day we get questions like when's it coming out when can we buy it oh, in cans yeah. 
But um, it's refreshing, man. It's it's a cantarito. It's grapefruit. It's lime. It's salt. Nice and simple, but full full flavor. Yeah, oh, I yeah. need to have that. Now it's I know it. I know that we are. I I can start from the beginning, but right now I kind of rather go in that route of what's coming up because yeah. I know you guys do have a, other stuff coming up. Yes. And um, I'm pretty sure we could touch it, right? Like yeah, the, yeah. Okay, like yeah. The, the coffee. Yep. You know, I'm pretty yeah. excited about the coffee. I, I've as the older I got, the more coffee I fucking I appreciate yeah. coffee. Um, which is I'm trying to get to drink my coffee black. Yeah. You know, because th- you know you you tell me that's the way to go. It, I have a tough time, man. I gotta put some cream in that shit. I think it, 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 it's like like a lot of things, like like an acquired taste. Like sometimes I can have it black. Sometimes I, I put a little cream and sugar because yeah, you know that's what that's what I'm used to and that's what I enjoy as well. You know. But where like who who? How do you guys go into coffee from beer to coffee? How did that transition happen? Um. The coffee, the coffee was always in the works. Like when we when we launched Casa Mille, it was never uh, just I said I said yeah. It was never just brewing. Okay. It was it was more. We started with brewing, but it's also introducing people to our culture, uplifting Mexican culture, Mexican food, Mexican beverages in general. So. And music. And music, food, yeah. you know, so. In the beginning, I've always wanted to do beer, chocolate, mm. and coffee. It just so happens that the... The beer came first. Yeah. Okay. We started with the beer. We're going to start with the chocolate and coffee, like, a couple months ahead. But yeah. then pandemic hit. You know? Ah, okay. Put everything on hold a little that, bit. Yeah, at that point, we just... We, we had we a focus on, on the beer. So what's um, what's number what's coming next? The coffee first and the, then the chocolate? Chocolate, in a way? yep. Yeah, yep. coffee, coffee, coffee nice. first. Coffee's yep. next. Coffee so first. our coffee is number two. Yeah, yeah. Beer, so coffee, chocolate. We're we're hoping by we're hoping by mid December, um, if it all goes as planned. Hopefully, um, have coffee out on the market. Yeah, yeah available online in a lot of our um, retail accounts, wholesale accounts, and and at the brewery as well. Yeah. And again, that's that's another like an untapped market. I mean, other than the big makers, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. in the in the Latin community, you don't see a lot of. You don't uh, see. You don't see. Too, too, I don't even know what the right word is. You don't see too, that. too much. Too much of it. No. Um, there are smaller coffee companies here in Chicago that eventually will do. Will bring in once or twice a year stuff from, from uh, Mexico or you know uh, stuff from Guatemala, which has great coffee as well. A lot of people are doing. But our focus is going to be all coffee from Mexico for us. From Mexico. From know. Mexico. Where are you guys uh, bringing it from? Hundred percent coffee from Mexico. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a couple of states. Most of the states that produce coffee are Nayarit. Okay. Oaxaca, Chiapas, and Veracruz. Okay. Those are the major states that we pretty much bring coffee and some cacao. Nice. Uh, yeah, so we got the coffee coming up. Probably, I would say within, loosely within a year, the, the chocolate will come on board. And then from there, probably another six, nine months, we're going to be making our own uh, masa for like tortillas. And, oh, shit. Because the goal is to eventually, when we have our own our own space, we're going to have that, we're going to create an experience where you can taste mexico pretty much nice you know? yeah, and all be pr- made there made there in-house yeah in-house yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah that's the goal yeah yep. wow the masa thing i didn't know about it. yeah I mean, man i like that yeah yeah, yeah that's also another um i mean it, it's not that it's monopolized because no one's really monopolized but it's no. just not too many other people there's, doing it right exactly yeah. i mean yeah, yeah. there's big players here you right know, right, right. and all these other you know yeah. popo and, and they're great but there's really no no smaller smaller producers. There's no other ones. Yeah, no. and there, and there's no one exploring all the other varieties of, of corn that are out there. You know. No. Yeah. So that that that's that's going to be the fun of it too. And yeah. if they are, correct me if I'm wrong, because I also know you guys are big time foodies, man. Um, is it usually more like the the modern and the comillas, like a, a lot know, of those the blue tortillas? Yeah, yeah. Much, there's right? some small like like masa companies um, out there where a lot of these newer modern Mexican restaurants are are getting them from them, you know, right? Because they're the ones experimenting and playing around with other varieties of corn and and having having fun with it, just letting people know, hey, there's other cool stuff out there. You and know? as far as like that, like uh, sticking to the masa, like where did that come from? As far as also like who had the idea of say, hey, let's fucking go that route because of the masa like uh, uh where does expertise come from from that part like do you guys have someone that works with you or you guys or something like that 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 no, wants to go on that route that's, i think for me that's the fun part learning new things oh, yeah you know that's the fun part is figuring stuff out learning new things and that's not to say we're not gonna consult or help, get people 
lean on people that know that started already or right. have some ex- experience. We're not just gonna go in there blind. We want to do it right. So, but we want to also learn how to do it in the in the, in the process. Yeah, it's kind of so. like what we did with beer. You know, we started and YouTube and a lot of books and just learning, and then we joined the homebrew club and relied on other people's who have been doing it for a yeah. few years already at home. And then from there, we move on to other breweries, work at a brewery, and learn from those people. And the brewing community is helpful as fuck, man. Yeah. So everyone we turn to, like the brewery I was at before we launched, man, they were they were helping me out with. We were buying like eight hundred, nine hundred pound dollars worth of grain from them for for at at like their cost. For us to keep for experimenting your, at home, yeah, for your house, oh, you know? shit. yeah. So, and just because we learn from there doesn't mean we're gonna do exactly what they're doing. It's just a baseline trying to figure out where to start. Kind of like the process. The process. Yeah. Yeah. Figure out the process, okay. And then, we, then from there, that's where you get creative and be like, okay, they do it this way. I want to do it this way. I want to incorporate these ingredients yeah. or this. So, it, it, give it, it your guys' time. Yeah, you, with our own style, you know, because right. there, there's know. many ways to make an IPA. Many ways to make a tortilla many ways to make a lager to make chocolate you know it's it's giving it your your twist your touch yeah I mean, it's, yeah it's like music too you know you, yeah. don't, you don't have to play an instrument from a teacher right right and then you, you know? just it's up to you to add stuff. everything else yeah. correct yeah, yeah. yeah to get creative with it well everything yeah. that you guys are doing just just because i'm a pothead i mean everything goes with bud too right like hey, eventually hey, that's man. Where everything <laughs> there's there's infused. there's all of that is infused can be infused technically not with beer legally uh, uh, well, I'm yeah. saying when it is though uh, who, who knows, knows if it'll yeah. ever honestly oh, no? yeah. we don't think it ever will be because oh, you, you you got alcohol and then yeah. you got you got weed that's like is it against the whole alcohol tobacco no i think just health wise health wise i think it's not uh, good just mixing all that stuff yeah uh but cbds with uh not even cbds but thc with Coffee, possibly. Uh, there's THC. Yeah. Seltzers, Non-alcoholic some, beers as well with, with THC. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Possibly yeah, yeah. some teas in the future. Yeah, chocolate for sure. Yeah, chocolate for sure. And, and masa, one. fuck it. Yeah. I mean, hey, man. It, oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Because, no, you know what? Because I see some, some, some person some tamales, like on Instagram. Yeah. Tamales. Tamales. Yeah, tamales. Yeah, bro. That's where it's at. Getting creative, man. Hell yeah, yeah. And, it's, and it's dope. But I, do, I don't know if they do it in the masa or like in the guisado. Could be in the, in the, in the, yeah, in the, in the guisado, guisado right? maybe. That's who, yeah. it, who knows? But I've seen, I think I've seen it. That's pinches seen tortillas it de mota. You know, bro, bro. Con carne, hey, con, con, con pancita. <laughs> I've even, I've even uh, seen mushrooms yeah. pop up with chocolate. You know? yeah. oh, man. And that's a whole nother <laughs> yeah. We should have done mushrooms today before we start, shot this fucking oh, pot, man. actually. <laughs> Se nos dormió el gallo. No, no, he said, man. Se nos dormió el gallo. So they would have been a good yeah. one. That was a big gallo que se nos dormió right no, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, now we know for next time. It's not that big because we missed it, yeah. No. Well, now we know for next time. The next one might be better when people can actually and see us on the video. And they're going to see us all fucking tweaking. Yeah. Why is Biggie looking no. at me? <laughs> man. All the lights are off. Oh, yeah. man. Bro, y este, as far as like the beer now, um, I mean... Congrats on everything that you guys got going on, you. you know, the two years. Um, the fact that you guys are, are active as shit, um, getting into a whole bunch of... De, de lo que nosotros podemos ver, because I know you guys got a whole other clientele on the other side. Yeah. But, you know, just from the side that we can see, um, you know, I'm very, very happy to see the response from at least the people that yeah. we follow and that we see and... And, and people are enjoying it. And it's just on the guac pot. I mean, Jose was here for the episode two, um, for season four. But season four is tropeo. Like, it's, we've literally been getting pretty drunk. Took it to another level, just, man. It took yeah. it to another level. Yeah. And, and it's it's a good thing. I mean, a good way. And and it's like, uh, it's very organic. Yeah. People keep just shouting the shit out of it, like, in a good way. Like, <laughs> yeah, man. You know, like, holy shit, these are great. And, you know, that, that, that's what we love about it. It's not your, all right, we're 10 minutes in. Okay. And yeah. now for, you know. A sponsor. Now for our sponsor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a 30 second break. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very organic. They love it. I, el otro día, <clears throat> who was it? Um, Arroyero. Shout out to Arroyero. I'm going to put this guy on Saludos, blast. Saludos, man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my boy Rick. Tr- I'm going to put the guy on blast right now. Uh, well, not Ricky. I forget his name. Uh, the fucking half Irish guy that was sitting in the back. You, you guys will see him. Um, I think he plays a sax. Bro, he wanted to take beer. Oh. And I'm like, bro, you can't take too much beer because this is for the season. Take like a four pack. He's like, you don't understand. A four pack doesn't do anything for me. Oh, <laughs> I need more. Yeah, like, why well, can't yeah, give you more, man? A, I need but, a case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He didn't want a case. I'm like, bro, yeah, go buy that shit. Yeah. That uh, and uh, but people love it, man. Banda Nueva Raza like loved it. Uh, these guys loved it, and everyone has gotten a great response. And 
I'm sure that you guys have have seen the response and um, we have man. You know, how do you guys feel about that that response? Dope, man. Ahora yeah. sí que de nuestra gente, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, it like you great. said, it's, it's organic. All these shout outs, you know, people tagging us, posting us, and just, you know, just because they want to, man. It's, yeah. it's pretty dope. Yeah, I agree, man. It feels good seeing something you created, you know, and people actually enjoying it, seeing it on the shelves or seeing it in the restaurant, seeing it on tap. We, we, were just, we were just talking about this the other day. And like I had a thought a few weeks ago, and I'm like, man, we've made we've made a lot of beer, you know. And the beer goes out, and someone buys it for us to keep re-delivering, right? Of course. So when you think about it, all this beer we've dropped off, people have drank that shit, you know. Uh, yeah. and it's so like, if, you had, if, you, if you have to give me a guesstimate, how many beer have you guys made? Oh man. Or how much? I said how many? Sorry, how, how many, much? I guess the easy would be cans, right? A thousand yeah. barrels times. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the other day I was listening to a pod, and they had said like. Uh, I think the U.S. is the number one in alcohol consumption, second to like Germany or something like that, and it was just like an incredible number. I can't really, uh, I can't put my mind to it, but it was an insane, insane amount of numbers. These guys had to bust yeah, out get, the, they, they had to bust out it. the high school calculator. Way. They're getting into it. About so, so if, we do, if we do so cans, you're. you're if, if it was all cans, probably close to like four hundred thousand cans out there oh, yeah. that we've done Damn. since we started. Yeah. Oh, this year. And that's right? a, that's yeah. how many the, ounces a can? The, 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 the two years. Yeah. The two years. In two yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah roughly. Years. Yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Wow. that's a, that's a that's shitload still of, a lot can. of cans. Yeah. Think about yeah. it. Even even if you think that was just one person drinking each can, that that's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of new people. It wouldn't be a lot. Like, yeah, no, he'd yeah. probably be dead. No, no, no. I mean, like, especially if you was getting into like the Filmes and the Lobles, La Doble, no, 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 no. If you guys haven't tried that, go try that. Tempestad. Oh, the guy from Nueva Raza. Jesse's new favorite is Nueva Raza guy made the mistake of saying like. Oh man, let me try this one. And two tempestades later, <laughs> he's in the like bathroom. Tempestad, right? it's, like, it's, like, it's like, what are you expecting, man? Uh, you wow. know, that, that, that's that's something cool that we like too. Like the names yeah, that we choose for them, kind of represent what the what the beer is. What, you what know? it is? Tempestad, yeah. Tempestad, fuck yeah, that beer was tempestada. You know, I seen the, yeah. I seen that you were also starting to work with Fry a little bit on, the, yeah. on the new designs. Yeah, man, that looks pretty badass. He showed me yeah. the Cantarito one. Oh. Yeah. That uh, one, uh, and, uh, we, re, we revamped the Media Naranja one. Media yeah. Naranja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually FaceTimed them right now. And yeah. He's like, let me show you the sneak peek. And yeah, oh, you did? Oh, man, oh, it's man. badass. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, that's a nice Great one. job. Yeah, yeah we, sure. we, we feel like like um, we do all the designs in-house. Yeah. So, yeah. so we just felt like it kind of needs something to tie it all together so for each kind of brand to have its own identity. It's kind of like the logos for the bands, you know. Cada una que se, que se reconozca and pop a little more. And it, it's dope, man. Yesterday, I think, uh, yeah, uh, me, uh, me and Fry were like almost three hours just working just on stuff back and forth. And it was dope, man. Because it's going to eventually yeah. become like a, almost like an individual. Like, it's not just Casa Humilde, the brand. Now it becomes a, uh, like a branch of the brand. Yeah. yeah. And now you're going to have like, whatever, 13 branches from that well, exactly. one tree. You know, it, each, yeah. each, each beer is kind of its own brand. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. Know? So Now you get to... Uh, Market each each yeah. name, yeah. technically. Like like my sal, the, the the Mexican lager. That's our number one beer. And nice. We, I know Fry is like, oh, I wanna, I wanna, re, I Let wanna do that one. On yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You know, because Fry <laughs> Fry likes that beer, man. That's his not, that's so, his that's yeah. his favorite too. <laughs> that's his yeah. To go, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm like, oh, I'm excited, man. You know, yeah, Fry. Yeah. Well, Fry does some badass work. So, you know, if it's we like, can all fuck, keep working yeah. together and doing cool shit, that's that's the dream, man. We also have some other other news that. Uh, well, up there. I don't know if you had mentioned it's a hobby, but if you if you didn't, we're gonna let him know now. <laughs> um, we'll find out. We had kind of we had uh, Jose and I had kind of talked when we met um, Ron Rodriguez. Oh yeah, yeah. We into cable and we had kind of mentioned like, hey, you know what? Let's do a fucking uh, collab album, a yeah. CD. Yep. You know, kind of Caso and Aguacate Records, and and just fucking do something, o sea, involving the beer with the music and another fusion of what we have going on because. Yep. Uh, I think that we've uh, built a great, great uh, business relationship through the Guac Pod and hopefully through the Compuros Compas in the future when we get the video up and just try to, you know, push each other as much as we can. Yeah. Um, it's like any any other relationship, I think, right? Like we, uh, for the people that didn't know when we when we met, when yeah, when Fry and I met Los Hermanos Lopez, we literally fucking came to this room where we shoot these uh these pods and we were probably here for about six hours, I think. Yeah, man. It was a six <laughs> to seven hours. It yeah. was a long night. Yeah, yeah. And that was the very first time that we ever met. You know, we were in here for six, seven hours. Mind you, I mean, we, 
you know, we were drinking a little bit. We were smoking a lot. And uh, we were talking a lot more. And it was one of those, like, um, like anything else, like when you meet a, a girl, I guess you would say, right? Like, we're feeding each other out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You we're trying to see, if, you know, where the trust part is at and how, how real both of us are, you mm -hmm. know? And I think that from that day on, it was just like, all right, this was pretty badass. It, you know, they we were very transparent as they were with us. And, and from there on out, I mean, for us, it's like, all right, well, let's try to do as much as we can with them um, so we can grow together and shit. And build some some more things that that are gonna come in the future with you guys. Yeah, so for man. For that, man, no. we thank you on our on our end. No, 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 oh. thank you, man. We 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 appreciate the partnership, and yeah. like, like I said, man, we want to see where we can take this shit far. Because yeah. Yeah. yeah, we feel like this is the, a true partnership, you know. Cause we're, yeah, we're focused on growing. We're not focused on other stuff that really doesn't matter, you know. Yep. We're definitely focused on growing, helping each other out, and that's just the way it should be, you know. Every, every, everything else will follow. Yeah, you know? I don't I don't yeah. think either side. Um, it's going to step pedo. You guys know how business is. Oh, it's muy yeah. fácil. Este. You know what? In the two years, uh, yeah. que vamos, we've learned a lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. It's muy fácil que alguien se aproveche de alguien. Yep. You know, from both sides. Yeah. And, you know, I think when we had the next meeting with, with my compa Louis at the brew yard, yep. we were also very transparent. Say, hey, we're never going to, you know, technically, entre comillas, ask more than what we need for. Like, mm -hmm. we, we want to grow. We want... Wherever you guys want to go, we want to go, and wherever we want to go, we want to bring you guys exactly. with as well. Igual. So um, it's been a it's been a great uh, union ship, and and I think that you know lo que falta porque apenas it, we're barely a year in, I think. Yeah, roughly, yeah. Or not, not no, even, not, not even. No, you're Is it? Mass, bro. Yeah. Well, you guys came in in season two, bro. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, in season yeah. two, yeah, yeah. yeah well, so you're in season four already, right? Season four, so it's, yeah, it's so, yeah, maybe like barely year. going to a one year. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, a little bit under yeah. a year. Yeah, right. Yeah. So we we have a one year anniversary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's when it's a date. Let's find a date. That's when we do the mushrooms. Yeah, ah, let's look it up. Yeah, Talk about it. Out, man. What if it already passed? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, we gotta Whoa, wait another year. Don't matter. You gotta make up Fuck for those it. extra, those let's extra, day. extra days. <laughs> Whatever day we passed yeah, up, that's yeah. how many more mushrooms yeah. we have to do. <laughs> Hell yeah. No, nah, man, but it's it, it. Honestly, it's a beautiful thing, man. Like, like a lot of the people we've met, and some, and some we've met through here. Like um, Scotty from Atotonilco, you know. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're shooting for about a month from now. We'll be having um, a couple beers in there with him in Stone, Stone Park and Juliet. Nice. You know, nice. Um, you guys know oh, yeah. um, David from uh, the Suarez Brothers from, yes, you know, from La Tequileria and Comales. Comales yeah. Again, great guys that have supported us from the beginning, you know. We launched in November 2019. Luego, because the pandemic started in well, like March, right? Yeah, so we, I was much, just yeah. talking with, with David about that. And we're like, yeah, we, like we didn't have the beer in there too long. I'm like, nah, bro, maybe, maybe a few months. Porque en eso, pues, todo, todo bajó, you know? Yep. Todo bajó, you know? And, but people like that, man, that, that we kind of meet each other and we just want to see what we can do with each other, you know, what we can, how we can help each other. Yeah. It's not even a like, oh, I'm going to get this band or th these guys para que ayude. No, it's like, what can we do for you? And, yeah. You know, and let's, let's help each other. Yeah, it's a, it's really, really amazing to see, you know, in, in the business, when you meet people like Scotty and you meet people like David yeah. and you meet people like, um, you know, like Louis Corona, uh, the people out at the hills in Aurora. Yeah, man. People Shout that, um, sin pensarlo, like, exactly. but when Scotty, remember, you walked in yeah. and hey, Caso, like, oh, shit, you're Caso Mila. Like, yeah. It's just like instant, it was dope, bro. Man. People yeah. that are in the business that are... Like like Javi just said, they don't care about what's going on. Like they're yeah. just, they, you know, they want to help. They already know that what they got going on. They don't have to worry about anybody else. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know you guys are cool as hell with Solazo guy, right? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout yeah. out to Pepe, man. Pepe. Again, yeah. he's, he's, he hits we gotta get him on here. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. He'll, he'll be up, down. Man. Hell yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. He's got a great story. Yeah, he's got an amazing story, man. Yeah. he's a hustler too, man. He's been he's been a great asset to us as well. Supported us at, at La Josie, you know, Josie, and yeah. Solazo. He just opened up. Which is, I hear is it's killing, man. I haven't been there yet. Javi's been there yeah. a handful of times already. I want to go on Friday. I've teached the whole yeah. cocktail menu, just yeah. you know, Jeez. some R and D. Yeah. Yeah. And they're gonna be yeah, yeah. Uh, having your guys' coffee too eventually, right? Uh, yes. Or, you or collabing or something. Yeah, like yeah, we'll be working sure. with him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, big time yeah. supporter, man. Yep. Yeah, you know, it's people like that, man. We, we get, we've gotten people like that. Man, we've I, I say yeah, we're fortunate, you know. We we make good beer. At the end of the day, we have to put out there good go. good product, you yep, know. For sure. Por más que nos caemos bien y todo, like I don't want, I don't, yeah, you, you gotta drink something good, you yeah. know. 
Pero we've had like restaurants, like there's a restaurant, Primo's uh, Locos, our, our, our good friend Joe in Elmhurst. Okay. You know, I when we went, man, he opened up about a little bit over, yeah, like 12, 13, 14 months. Did he opened up July during the pandemic. During the pandemic, during man. The pandemic. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he, again, he's a hard worker too. Shout out to him, man. Yep. And he, we, I went in there, wanted to try some beers with him. And he's like, yeah, you know, maybe I'll, I'll put two or three. But at the end of the tasting, we tried them all. We ended up, he has eight draft lines. Y ahorita, Holy hasta la fecha, shit. todas son casa humilde. Oh, nice. nice. You know, so. And that's uh, Primos Locos? Primos yeah. Locos in, in Elmhurst. Elmhurst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, right in downtown Elmhurst. You guys are in some great restaurants, too, man. We're, I know you guys are at Fat Rosie's. Yeah, yeah, Fat Rosie's. Shout out to them if, if yeah. you guys haven't checked them out. Amazing margaritas. They carry our beers. Yeah. Amazing food. Yeah. You know, we have a lot of people. Those guys, man, they got four of those, and we're, we're in all of them, man. And they support yep. they support the shit out of us, you know? Nice. Yeah, yeah. man. It, it's a beautiful thing because it, it's the same thing, you know? Some of these restaurants are like, why are we going to give... Lagunitas are money or these other companies and these are their words you know we respect these companies like Lagunitas like Goose Island because they all started from the bottom they all right. busted their ass to get same. there you know yeah. but 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 we're getting a lot of a lot of our people be like hey you know you guys are making good beer as well so we'd rather support you guys now excuse my ignorance because you just brought it up so I I want to just make sure I follow Lagunitas is not who owns them or it's not like a Mexican owned technically no, no, it's no, not. No, okay. no, no. I think I think that I'm guy just, is. I'm asking because of the name, right? I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great fucking name, man. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a great name. It, I, think I think the guy is from here, right? The Chicago, Oak Park, I think. I think so. Something and like he, he moved to to Cali, to Cali and he yeah, opened yeah. up out, out there. That's yeah. that's where they opened up. Yeah, and those guys have there. man. Oh, I remember shit. going to Lagunita shit eight years ago, and and going in there and being like, man, this shit's amazing, you know? Awesome, where their location and uh, what is it, Pilsen? It is, yeah, yeah, right, right? yeah, it's right there. I think so, yeah, yeah you know, and that I still remember that because you kind of walk through and you got all the neon lights and the artwork, and it's trippy as fuck. I love that, you know, yeah, I love yeah, that yeah. entrance, bro. I've been yeah. there a few times, you know? I was, I'm and, a big fan, and of they make beer great beers, beers and you know? they've grown the company to fucking huge, they're yeah, everywhere, yeah. bro, to the point where Heineken bought them, <laughs> you know. Oh, so is that they're, they're, they're all over, oh, man. wow, okay, you know, all that stuff, you know, so todo eso se respeta, man. They're making good beer and they've grown that shit man they busted their asses to do that you yeah, know? yeah 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 that's kind of that's respectable but yeah. yeah, bro i sort of got like like you guys are heading in that direction i would say because oh, you guys you. are making great now, beer, now with thank that you. now here i'm gonna play a devil's advocate now is that the direction like technically let's just say somebody like again this is gonna be dumb on my end because i don't know the logistics but whoever owns like a model or corona like, yeah if they come and they they talk to you guys. Is that like the route you guys want to go, or that, how does that like play out? Like, does it depend on the year terms or? I don't or think that's to... the goal, but if, okay. if it happens, I mean, depending on what, I what think the offer is on the table, yeah. you, know, the, you can never yeah. say no. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, right, right, right. You can you never know. say no to a billion bucks if yeah. they, you know. It, you know what? what? What's funny is we, we get asked that question that. a few times, <laughs> and, and you never know, man, what situation we're in, where the company's in, because there's always other things we want to do. Right. You know, yeah. it's kind of like beer. Yeah, we love beer, but we're also doing coffee and slowly yeah. moving into the other things. You know, so we're, we might be, if that may happen one day, we might be at a point where, fuck, I really want to get my hands into this project or that, you know? It yeah. all depends where we're, where we're at as a company so and, and in life. Like, exactly, yeah. Yeah, you can help from whatever they... Yeah. The five hundred million that they're gonna offer you. Like, like, there's always people, man. Um, especially in like craft <laughs> beer, right? like, 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 like in craft beer, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> like a lot of these guys get called like sellouts and this or that because yeah, because you know Goose Island sold to Anheuser Busch and all this stuff. You know, like Bonita, so yeah, yeah, exactly. That's kind of why I'm asking. You know, yeah. but uh, man, the way the way we see it is like we kn we know the the story of the person who started this. We know where they started, yeah. and for them to start with a dream and keep building it and building it and building it. You know, man, you, you can't be mad at that, man. Hell yeah. no. I agree, man. You know, it's, it's, it's hell no. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. That's why I was asking because I'm like, well, wait, um, what if someone comes knocking at your door? You know, I mean, that's technically where you would want to be, but I don't know if that's where you want to be. You know, uh, you could it, be, depends, it could I be guess. to a point where hopefully one day we keep working hard and the company is doing well on its own and there's no need for that. Correct. You oh. know? And it could work out the other way where you're like, oh, shit, you know, Let's this do sounds it. good. I can, you yeah, know. Yeah, you can pizza exactly. chocolate factory or you, you something You never like know. That. Yeah, you yeah, never yeah. know. Yeah. I like that. I like that concept. Because a lot of things can happen if they come knocking. Yeah. Let's yeah. run it. Because at the end of the day, as long as they're comfortable, you know. I mean, right now it's tough because it's still building. 
but as long as the, the goal is to one day be enough where you can just live a comfortable life, then I don't right. have to have I don't have to have hundred million dollars. Just yeah, be yeah, comfortable, yeah. take care of your parents, take care of your family, and we joke uh, we joke all, around. Um, there was a there was a friend of ours who, who one day told a super nice guy, good supporter. He's like, man, one day you guys are gonna, don't forget about me when you guys are millionaires. I'm like, man, I don't even think millionaires. It's like as long as I'm able to be a thousandaire one day. So me, me and my wife are like million. Nah, we're thousand, Hundred thousand thousandaires were good, man. <laughs> just like like Javi said, just to live a comfortable life, man. Like you know, fuck, I honestly I don't really buy expensive stuff or fuck my my van's like 20 years old and yeah. I'm still driving it hasta que hasta que de you know and that the that van's been everywhere one of it one reason is sentimental value and one you know is I fucking love those vans you know yeah we grew up going to Mexico in vans and that one's an old three the blue one I have I've used it for my band it's taken we've gone all over the all over the country taking friends to south by southwest in austin are those it's called gone to convert, mexico conversion vans yeah yeah yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, those are the big family vans. Yeah, man. dude, I love those vans, man. Yeah. 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 It's home for me, wait, Bro. because all my life, wait, we went in Mexico to vans yeah. too, and we're from the fucking. It's we're, comfortable as hell. We're from the same area, so I know exactly what you guys were. Dude, through. fucking yeah. uh, Orejones was selling theirs, man. Did I tell you about that? I, remember, I don't know if I told yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's a, new, a little newer, but I mean, yeah. being that you like it, their shit was their shit's nice too, man. I told my wife, man, like that's that's my that's my dream car, like to be able to buy another a van, you know? Yeah, and I don't even. Wanting you, shit. I'll buy. I'll buy a used with fifty thousand miles. Two, yeah, shit. The one I got is gonna hit two hundred thousand. He told us, I mean, you should see my Bentley parked out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Javi was like, Jose's got the van. I got the Bentley, man. It's the Oyster Core that's <laughs> that's got a salvage title. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's the same thing, man. You gotta like, right now, you just gotta put everything you have back into the business and build. Hell yeah. And hopefully yeah. one day I get something better, but right yeah. now it's it yeah. still runs. We will this. one day, man. But I'm sure we'll get you like an old 12 or yeah. 2000. Yeah, yeah. 12. 12. one day we'll be get you yeah, yeah, yeah. 15. I won't beat yeah. you 15. Oh, see, yeah, 12, 12 is, is already 10 <laughs> year old, bro. <laughs> I'll set up. I'll set up with something that's not like. Yeah. Like T Bone, yeah. he's, he's, he's like, I'm good shit. even yeah. with the title. The title just being it's good, clean, right? yeah. as long clean as I got a good clean. title. Yeah, yeah, fucking clean title and shit. Yeah, that's what tengo. Yeah, and then, uh, bro, with well, another see, so let's let's talk a little bit uh, about beers and let's talk about like, um, you know, when you guys uh, did start. I know you guys started from your house. Yeah. Um, I know that you started uh, doing a lot of tastings. Um, a lot of friends over, yeah. A lot of friends over, yeah. a lot of, you know, people saying it's good, it's not good, do this, tweak that. Um, when you when you think back and now you, you're at a brewery and you're able to invite all your friends to a brewery now, um, I mean, and it's only been two years, I understand that, right? Yeah. But um, does, is it a little bit nostalgic to think like, holy shit, you know, not too long ago we were doing backyard parties trying to push our beer. And now we have Lamento Show at our two-year anniversary. And it's barely our two-year anniversary. Like, fucking in five years, hopefully yeah. we can have, like, Conjunto Primavera and that motherfucker, right? That's, yeah. that's, honestly, that's that's the goal, man. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Yeah. It is it is a little nostalgic, a pesar que it's only been, like you said, a few yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, but 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 when you think about it, we were, man, we started in 2015. So, ahorita ya estamos que 2021. So, yeah. it's been six I mean, years. Yeah. <laughs> Four years know? of, uh, like, of house, just, house stuff and yeah, then, too, of, me. like, Legit stuff, he, you know, and hopefully, hopefully, many more. But uh, you think about it, it's like fuck, that is cool, you know. At one point, we're making a shit little beer at home, having our family and friends try it, and doing barbecues. He kept roasting a pig, he kept barbacoa, he kept pork bellies, at all just just with friends and beer, roasting a pig, you know, and doing cocktails. I mean, we we would love doing cocktails on draft. So we you know? have a couple of kegs, just start yeah. putting cocktails over ice. Damn. Just bad yeah. chicken yeah. nuts. But yeah, when you think about it, going from there to now, like our beer actually going to these stores, stores like Benny's, a lot of these restaurants right. that are that are like badass restaurants, and you're like shit. I mean, right. even just doing like uh, private events, like art shows, art galleries, art galleries. You know, shout out to Rampy Adam Pilsen. We, mm -hmm. we did it. We did a couple of his shows. He's a tattoo artist and great artist. Uh, and we, yeah, that's where we met a lot of cool friends. That's where we met Alma, who did our shirt. We use she let us borrow her image, her Valiente shirt. Shout oh, out to Alma okay. Dominguez. Dominguez. Yeah, yep. I mean, that's how we met those people doing those private events, those art galleries, just setting up our, bringing our beer, setting it up, and just setting a tip jar because we can't sell legally. You know, ah, so you had to okay, give it away. Okay, okay. Yeah, but 
Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's how you got that Valiente shirt. Yeah, yeah, man. That's you cool. know, <laughs> when when it was, it's still kind of the thing, but a lot of shirts with the Loteria cards. Right, right. But with this one, when when she did it and when we saw it, all her artwork is badass, man. So it, it has a message, you know. So this one for us, El Valiente, it's, it's someone crossing over the border, you know. Of course. That's and that's what the image is. So we're like, we want to use it. We don't want to be not to talk shit or, or or nada, pero like I don't want it to be too corny where it's just like El Borracho on there, you know. Yeah. Right. I, I'd rather have it have a meaning to it, you know. Yeah. Still the playoff of that because I mean Loteria is part of our culture, you know. So still have that as a part of it, but actually have a message, is e- it's even better, you know? I like that. I, li- I like that the way you worded it. And I don't think it's corny at all or, or, or to talk shit, right? Like, yeah. Because uh, I had just read this quote not too long ago about um, about Canelo, and it's a little bit from left field, right? But mm-hmm. it's, like, I, hear, I heard what you said, and it makes a lot of sense because us as Mexican, Mexican-Americans, and you see Canelo, and a lot of people criticize Canelo, right? Because... Que es muy presumido, que es esto, que la chingada. But then, you know, what do they want? Do they want like it to be the, the entre comillas, typical Mexican, que sea un borracho, to see him with bad news, yeah. that he DUI, that he did coke, that yeah. he did... All. Always into some like, shit. This yeah. guy is on a straight line, being yep. successful with shit, winning, putting a good example. Yeah. And, you know, who's to say that in a fucking year he's going to be this big-time drug dealer guy, right? Or not. Yeah. But, I mean... We're very easily right away talking shit, like you say, right? Like El Borracho, you know, El Valiente makes a lot of sense. And it's, uh, yeah. and I see the message behind, even in, even in your cans, like, mm-hmm. I see that you guys just did the, uh, La de la Mujer, like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. right? The, what was that it's, called? It's, it's like, it, we did it for uh, for an expo called Latina Expo that was here in Chicago. Okay. Um, but I, I like to call it, it's like a Latina empowerment label of my sal. Correct. You know, so it has words like chingona, like madre, like fuerte. You know all, all these all these words that Latina women are, man. Yeah. You know, and, and it kind of it, it, it's pretty cool because you know we get some customers that we offered it to stores and they're like right away, fuck yeah, dude. And I, I think that's this. the beauty yeah. of you yeah. guys, bro. The beauty that you guys are again uh, independent, where you guys have the liberty to do stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And you can do it whenever, right? I mean, if we want to release something like that, a small run, we're, we're able to. As long as it's planned out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I like that. That's yeah. the fun thing, man. Um, we also, you know, we collaborate with restaurants too, man. There's a few restaurants that we've done beers with. I seen that. Um, Estrella Negra, saludos to, um, shout out to Otoniel. Cool cans, I like. Yeah, 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 man. And that's those are uh, friends of his, you know. That um, cool art is uh, Victor, um, and uh, his, his friend, and um, these are artists that he features on his on his restaurant as well. You know, oh, so shit. so he likes to you know feature them on on his um, his his cans. You know, so he comes to us. We're like, we get together. We've done three beers with them already. You know, and hopefully we, they're still happy. We're happy. We're all happy right now. We keep doing more. You know, one or two, one or two a year. They just celebrated their 13th anniversary, Apenitas, you know. Mm. So we did we did a mole stout for them, you know, which came out dope. Come summer, we'll do mole come up. stout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a stout. Um, and, you know, a lot of <laughs> the, the, the los chiles, uh, all the spices, all the ingredients that kind of go into the mole were kind of went in there, you know? What? Yeah. 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 It turned out pretty nice. Yeah. And, and we love doing, like, true collaborations and and partnerships, too. Like, right now, uh, the, most of the, the second half of this year, we did a lot of events with the National Museum of Mexican Art. I did see that, yeah. You know, which, Bilson, which is awesome, yeah. you know? And hopefully next year we can do a lot of events with them as well. Yeah. yeah. So anything we can do and, and work with people together with that that kind of brings all our culture together, you know, for shit, we're down for it, I man. Mean, and we want to do everything, but sometimes we just don't have enough time, you know, or the capacity because we have to have to turn stuff some stuff down. But yeah, I mean, we can't do everything, you know. Or sometimes but, a lot a lot of stuff just kind of it takes a little longer. Like yeah. like it's in in line. We just got to get through this and this and this, and then okay, now we can work on a beer together, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just that's just the way it happens, man. But we got a couple cool collaborations we're we're excited about. Um, uh, come like the first half, the first quarter of first next first quarter year. next year, first quarter yeah. Of next year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, some cool cool stuff, man. Yeah. We're excited about. You can you can you. Uh, yeah, I don't yeah, 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 well, no, yeah, okay. but, but if you if, it's not uh, jinx, let it ride, let it ride, let it ride. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, keep we'll drinking. Push it, yeah. it a little bit. Hey, Jose, give these guys some more. No, it'll, wait, it'll, it'll be on our social media <laughs> and everything. Yeah. Um, fuck it. That's a teaser for the next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they come one. with the video. They come back. <laughs> yep. um, I was going to say also, um, 
I see that you guys are growing the the Casa Humilde team and family. That's something that Jose and I had talked. Like, I think within a company, a uh, few of my friends have asked me, like, what do you think the hardest thing to do in a business? I think, honestly, it's uh, it's finding the right people to work for you, right? Yeah. Or work with you, sorry. Because yeah, yeah. I always say work, work with. Work with us, yeah. Um, and uh, I see, you know, from from when we met to now, a couple more guys in there and, and great guys. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you're fucking... The guys that I that I know are, are great yeah. guys. I think you've almost met met, met all of them, man. Yeah. Um, if you want right. to shout them out, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. So so ahorita, like like we got it's me, Javi, um, Frankie, who's our um, brewer and helping us out right now, with making deliveries as well. Okay. <laughs> Fucking oh, yeah. one of the best team players, man. Uh, we've got um, JP. Uh, JP, who's been with us for JP, man, awesome over man. a year, yeah, yeah, like a year and a half at least, I would say. He helps us um, cover the wall at the brewery, so he talks to people. He's, he's there so representing good, the brand. He's, he's the best, he's man. He's so good at talking. I just he's ran into him at, uh, at Mariela's this weekend. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 he's going to be oh, this, this Saturday. Yeah, yeah. So he helps us with that, a lot of events, a lot of tastings in stores. He's, 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 he's yeah, he's the best with people, man. So then we have... Um, we have uh, Jesse, who was our driver Jesse, yes. for 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 a little bit, uh, maybe two or three months. Yep, just and then um, you know he came across another opportunity, which which he took. Um, but again, down man, he still wanted to work with us, and we we love having him work with us. So he helps us out with when events and tastings, and when you know all that. So he, he was just right? at Mariela's and Division, Division Street. I seen a Division um, over yeah. the weekend as well. You know, shout out to to Tony and to Jesse at those places because they've been big supporters as well, man. You know, it's we're a newer brand, so they allow us to come in and, and represent and, and get the word out there, you know? So so it's pretty cool. So that's Jesse. Uh, we've got uh, um, Andy just joined our team. He's, he's helping us with the coffee. Um, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's got a good experience with coffee roasting and everything. Shout out to Andy. Yep. Um, us, who else do we got? Um, actually, my, my wife just started uh, working with us a little more, helping with sales and everything. Yeah. So she's she's helping with that. So man, so yeah, I would say we're like four, it's growing, man. four people, four full time yeah. people, right. then three three part time people. Right. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's a beautiful thing too, man. When you start seeing the the, the company grow and and then how uh, it becomes very tight knit. Yeah. You know, and and and, the, and I'm glad that you shouted out uh, Tony Jesse as well because Hell yeah, man. When you when you talk to them. You can see the the their genuine uh, feeling of wanting to showcase you, you know. You, you know what? Just it, to help out. Been, yeah. We've been, we, like I said, we've been fortunate, man. Shout out también to um, Alejandra's restaurant. He's he's. We've got some beer um, in there with them too. Yeah, I compare the Corona, Louis. Yeah, 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 with Louis again, big supporter as well. We're gonna start doing slowly some more. And he's um, remodeling right now too. Taste, yeah, so yeah. eventually we wanna we're gonna, gonna be, get gonna in there. Ass. So we've got all these guys that that show us love and support, man, which which is cool, you know. Cause you know if if we're if we're ever in that position and we can work with someone or or just you know like you said sometimes they, like some people want to get stuff from you like if you want to support us just share share our posts you know yeah, that's man. all you got to do it's simple we as that we talked about that once yeah yeah it, it's yeah. as simple as that right there's no need hey to, what can I do share yeah, my shit exactly yeah. you know you don't need to give me um, more than that a lot of our accounts us uh, amongst each other you know we see something fuck we share it we want it's we want our people to see it your people yeah. to bro see it bro it takes like two seconds bro. exactly yeah. you know. So Literally. just just stuff like that, man. Whenever we work with some restaurants, with all the restaurants or bars we work with, like they got an event, hey, share it. What the hell? Why the hell not? Yeah, we're we're all supporting each other, man. We're we're all we're all in it together. I agree, man. It's genuine, and they're not expecting nothing in return. That's yeah. the best part, you know. Because even though they're buying our beer, it's very few accounts. But we have like, okay, what are you gonna do for me? Yeah, you yeah. Know, Sometimes like, when right we go into the, a new account, I mean, there are some. Before they even buy anything, or we yeah. say anything, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you gonna give me? What are you yeah. gonna do for me? Is that when you, in your head, you're like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. yeah. yeah. like, yeah, at the end of the day, because I'm, because they're used to like Budweiser, Modelo, I just giving them shit like Boom, free, here you go. Yeah. but they have the capital, you know, they're making like, billions. Yeah, yeah, they, that makes they, sense. They have the, the budget to just give them shit, and like, here you go. Give them they, this they have the marketing money, man. You know? that, that, that's what it is. Yeah, that's fucking nuts, man. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are coming across the the, the good people, because um, oh hell yeah, man, we've been yeah. fortunate, man. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask you guys, just because uh, I kind of came across it when I when I did the whole transition, but you guys obviously had the uh, like a nine to five job, right? Before, prior to this, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, how is it now? Well, now, how is it now that you work 16 hours a day instead of eight? 
But well, uh, I, I think we were working good hours beforehand. 24 too. 24 seven, yeah. dog. Dude, that's crazy, right? You people know what? Think I, like, oh, you're the owners. Yeah. You I, fucking do three days a week or some shit. I was, I was, I was just. Um, <laughs> you're making all this money. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all sales are doing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and then everyone works for free, so we don't yeah, have to pay. I, them, exactly. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I was just talking to my wife about that. We're like, man, I don't think, honestly, like, bueno, pues, si, es, si hace falta, I will. Pero I don't, like, I don't think I ever, I'm ever going to work for someone else again. It's, yeah. Yeah, like, like, man, like, like, unless I need to, you know, and pues, entonces, sí, we got to do, we got to do. Pero the plan is, like, nah, man, if we're going to bust our ass 16, 20 hours a day, we're, we're going to do it for ourselves, you know? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a game changer, and it's a life changer, for sure. Yeah. I remember because when I met you guys, uh, Obviously, um, we I started talking to Javi, and you had just told me that you uh, had just something about being an electrician, correct? Yeah, I was in uh, I was in local one thirty four electricians. I mean, I'm there still in the know. union, but I haven't worked <laughs> since Crazy, February. Right? February. Yeah, we were just talking about this. Yeah, right? we oh, okay. earlier. Yeah. It's like February twenty twenty is when I just stopped working and went full time in the business. Probably a couple months after we, we launched, Damn, which is great, you know. Yeah, at first kind of sucked. I mean, yeah. We, I mean, you take a, you, you take a big pay cut. Yeah. You know, cause Hell yeah. Like, you know, you a mean, big one. Yeah, you take a huge <laughs> one. But at the end of the day, hopefully someday you'll be back up to it's where you're at. It's a bigger picture, you know, man. Yeah, it's long term. Yeah. Because yeah. there, yeah, you're making good money now, but you're pretty much stuck there. Now, let me pick your brain. For you, for people that are listening, um, and you say someday, I mean, I, I know everybody's situation is different, right? But when you're going and you want to work for your dream and you're working for what you guys got going on, um, in hindsight or in realistic terms, what is in time for you? Like, um, you know, did you give yourself a, a time or you just kind of said, fuck it, look at, you, you kind of learn how to live at a, at a minimal, I guess mm-hmm. you could yeah. say, right? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah I, I sold mean, my how- house. I sold my house just to have less responsibilities when we started the business. And you got, you got to take sacrifices now so you can reap those benefits and those sacrifices later like it could be five years or six years could it's be, hard to say could be ten you know because <laughs> now we're two years in right yeah but now we're also putting money into coffee so it's kind of like starting not starting over from love scratch it. but you're it. like okay now okay sacrifice a little bit longer Back you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so now the chocolate will be like fuck okay we gotta start putting money into that I know man it's to start that and it's then, like not to say you're falling behind it's just no 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 you right. know it's, it's part of the growth it's part of the yeah. growth so I, I I have a goal, cause I've always been a big dreamer. I guess people are like, "Oh, you crazy? You dream too much?" Or it's, but I, I want to have a brewery. And we want to have a brewery in Mexico. Yeah, you know, right. I want to be able to have a business in Mexico and be able to travel back and forth, visit Mexico and check on stuff over there, come back, check on stuff here. And I always tell my brother, like, the goal is to be in Mexico, probably like five, seven years, and. When we can step away, for me, my personal goal is 50. By the time I'm 50, I don't want to quit or retire, but I want to be able to, if I want to take a vacation for a month, you're able to. Not I'm worry able about. to. I don't have to yeah. worry, you know, I don't have to run the day to day operations. So my goal is 50, just be able to relax relax for a bit. But I'm still going to work. I'm not going to retire or anything. Right, right. We're going to be working on other projects. Yeah. But hopefully the businesses we have, we build in the next five ten years are able to run themselves and you can just check in and totally. that's the goal you know and uh, for people listening when he says mexico he means tulum tulum <laughs> we're gonna build it everywhere. Tulum. Everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> the best everywhere. place oh yeah. yeah yeah um yeah i, I kind of I'll, I'll ask jose right now that too because um I, I do want people to understand uh when they listen like the the uh, the amount of sacrifice that it takes to follow a dream like it's not as easy as the influencers and what you see on other you know platforms and whatnot because that. it's not just sacrifice financially sacrifice or your partner your family friends because yes, you're always working you're always working you don't have time yeah you know it takes a take toll on your relationships and everything yeah, yeah. man it's you know? kind of like um kind of like you say you know i think you guys touched touched on the topic a little bit with ron as well um where like like your partner it's important man you know yeah like like shout out to my wife like she puts up with 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 a lot of shit <laughs> shout out <laughs> you to know? your wife yeah shout let me to apologize yeah, yeah. Too, shout out to Javi's girlfriend because same thing you know Javi Javi's yeah. a night owl man 
Yeah. Javi is a fucking yeah, night owl, he, man. Yeah, I know? see his stories. So, he's like, out there. He's out there fun. closing closing <laughs> deals at night, bro. Uh, <laughs> you know, yo, de vez en cuando, I'm out mostly during the day. If you're, if you're <laughs> not closing deals at night, you're yeah. fucking here at the AMP yeah, yeah, at exactly. fucking two in the morning. You know, ya no más le digo, no más le digo a my wife, yeah, I'm going to the podcast or or podcast or. She's like, you know, fuck. So, see you tomorrow. So, so, yeah. So what, so what? So what time? Four a.m. I'm like. Maybe yeah. three. <laughs> it's been some. It's been some yeah. long nights here with Jose, yeah, man. man. Depends how many edibles, how much you smoke. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> There's been some fun ones, man. <laughs> Shit. For sure, man. You know, but but you you need a partner like that. You know, like you need a partner that's gonna understand that we're we're working on something, we're building something, and it gets rough. It gets tough, man. You know, like 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 I've been married. Yeah, I hit a year in September. You know, Congrats. yeah. Um, I've known I've known my wife. I've known her for over 13 years. You know, we we started off friends, and he siempre que sí que no here and there. Pero, you know, you get to a point where you're like, all right, this is what we want. You know, and just because you know what you want doesn't also doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. You know, especially when when we're running a business. You know, we have long days out on the street, sales and meetings and working on stuff, and then we got events at night. Yeah, you know, or or like today, you know. Yeah, fucking date nights become like Mondays and Tuesdays and shit yeah, like that. Man. Yeah, and the Decibel, the they played at your wedding. They, yeah, I just saw them. Yeah. Uh, shout out to the Decibel. Yeah, they, they killed it at, at the wedding, man. Yeah. yeah, we had gotten them originally. What was it for two hours? I think so. And then, um, then we had our DJs, uh, the Pachanga guys. Shout out to um, to Memo, oh, Danny, shout out uh, to Danny, Danny. Danny. Yeah, check their episode out. We All of them man. here oh, too. Yeah. Yeah. So then they were there, but then uh, these guys were they were jamming, man. So Javi's like, "Should we get them another hour?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And I think we ended up getting like two more hours, right? <laughs> yeah. So they played pretty much t- two hours in the beginning, a little break. He hours vámonos. Yeah. yeah, they killed it, man. They're they're they're, they're killing it, and. You know, and that was that was a year ago. You know, I was just talking to him like, That's "Damn, nuts, time yeah. flies, huh?" <laughs> like, yeah, man. Shit. Yeah, well, I'm also very happy you brought that up with the with the partner porque yeah, we did touch it with Ron. You're yeah, right, yeah, man. Because yeah, yeah, it's a I'm a I'm a big believer in that. Like in the in the Mexican culture, pues a uno le dicen que somos mandilones, güey. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, the, you know the usual. Menos pasó el día del mandilón. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> one of those fucking things, pero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero pues el que sabe, sabe, güey. Sí. El que sabe, sabe, porque, you know, it, there's If that you saying. you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's that saying, like, you know, the, what is it? Behind every man, there's a strong, a strong woman. Uh-huh. But in reality, it's like not even behind you. Like, she's next to you, bro. Yeah. Because, you know, when we have those hard-ass days or those losing nights or, you know, in our, in our case. Yeah. Um, and just long weeks, bro. Like, you know, you only get home to that person. And, you know, the, that's the only person you get to, uh. To really fucking let loose and be like, this is what the fuck happened. This is what's going on, yeah. And the same thing, like, the victories and and the W's. Yes. You know, you appreciate them more with with the person who was there with all the L's. You know, that fucking took in all your bullshit. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah. With your crazy hours. Yeah, man. Everything we have. So, I'm glad you brought that up. I'm I'm glad you shouted them out. I'm glad because not just that, but my wife loves listening to podcasts. and, And when someone on the guest side... Um, Shows bring, them love, man. Yeah, brings bring, it up, yeah, hey. because it's. Uh, I don't. I don't again, I think the culture thing. People don't do it more, man. It's, they don't normalize yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Porque eres un mandilón, güey. O sea, that's what they're gonna tell you, right? I'm rocking the shirt. Normalize it. Soy mandilón y qué. No, no, but it's true, man. Um, the 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 sacrifices they they pay off and they're paying off for you guys immensely, bro. I'm happy on on that front Thank with you guys. You, um, I also wanted to ask you guys because you guys are foodies. And this is a little bit off track from from talking beer, but I want to put on my 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 boy Bart, who's planning to move into the city soon, yeah. or, or the surrounding like, like Cicero something or something like that. Like that. Um, like he, I uh, want you downtown Midway. Downtown, downtown Midway, Midway, man. Yeah. Yeah. He wants me to it's fucking rent to my town home. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the, the I do basement. want you. I want I want you guys to put them on, uh, and I want you guys. To, I want to ask you guys if you guys can. Um, Name off maybe your your top three to five to go spots to go uh, restaurants as far as uh, good food, good ambiance, all that. Because I know you guys are huge foodies, man. Yeah. And um, in general, it's just on the south uh, side or a little bit of everything. Well, we tried. Well, we tried uh, last week was because uh, of them no pochos. Oh, oh yeah, pochos. we went to pochos. Yeah, pochos. Yeah, 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 they're killing us, it, man. Yeah, 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 yeah they're us, killing yeah, it, man. Yeah. yeah, that was yeah. a good place. We we yeah. tried that because because yeah, because uh, uh, that shit was fire. Humar, yeah. And yeah. Well, you guys bought Omar to us, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great shout episode. Out, shout, out shout out to Omar, Omar man. He was yeah. great, man. He's, awesome. he's, he's the best, man. He's the I, best. I hope he listens to this because I do want to... I didn't... Se lo mandamos. I, yeah, he's... Yeah. No, se lo mandamos. <laughs> because he... um, 
I, I had no idea about his story. You kind of told me about it, yeah. but it was a great story, man. Oh, yeah, man. So, yeah, because of, because of Omar, we went to Pochos. So, oh, yeah, okay, in yeah. general. So, I mean, I mean, out here, out south, I would say Unidad up in Evergreen Park. Yep. Oh, shit. Yep. Okay. Uh, 95th and Lankedzie. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right around oh, there. I think you yeah, had to Georgie, right? Shout out to our, our good friend Sal so, there. Big yeah. time supporter from the beginning, man. All right. So, since we started. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to go there then, too. Uh, Pepe has... Uh, Pepe has Solazo. Solazo, right here yep. on Southside, yeah. Yep. Like 46 on Pulaski. That's yeah. Uh, that burned 50, down, right? Yeah. That, that, that yeah. burned down. Yeah, it burned down. He just down. opened back up after like over two years. Oh, yeah. I remember that. It looks badass. Oh, it's 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 beautiful. The space itself yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Same thing, good food. Uh, if you want to get a little more downtown, I guess. Yeah, date night downtown. Date night downtown. Bark. <laughs> yeah, uh, for sure. We got, uh, man, we got a lot of great restaurants. We've been fortunate. Uh, again, uh, uh, La Josie, right in that yeah, Fulton yeah, Market that, that, area. That's my go-to spot right now. La Josie? Uh, La you know Josie what? I have, not, Pepe, I have not been yeah, there, bro. I haven't tried that one out. Yeah. Sure. Girl on the Go, some, one, of our, one of our accounts. Yeah. Uh, Chicatana, just up in the Fulton Market. Duck the Go. Duck the Go. Chicatana? Chicatana. Okay. It's Duck great. Duck the Go? Yeah. Uh, there's Duck a the Tuco where uh, Chef Carlos Gaitan. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. I've been wanting to go there, bro. One of the first, Are you like, guys have beers in there, too? Yeah. We do, man. And so, again, again, they've been supporters of ours yeah. for, for a while Pretty much now. since they opened. Yeah. Yeah. We got to go to Suco. Bro, it's it's an right. experience. Right. It's an experience, man. It's one of the first mission stars. Cada Mexicano. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking awesome. We're Mexique, right? Yeah, Mexique, yeah, too, man. Mexique. I was going to Mexique, Mexique back then. years yeah, yeah, ago, yeah. too, man. Hell, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of great years. Yeah, you'll be happy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How about yeah, you? Just got oh, the man. list right there. Write cool it down. Spots, like if you're more north, like Logan Square, we got uh, Mitokaya. Um, great food, a great supporter of ours as well. Yeah, shout out to Diana. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, where else have I been hitting up, man? Well, Pilsen as well, La Luna. Um, that that's a great go to spot. I think I've been to yeah. enough for brunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember seeing. Yeah, that. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is yeah. a good spot. Again, my una queja awesome though con la luna. Ah. They don't have diet cokes. Oh yeah, oh, <laughs> I had to eat my steak with water, bro. Yeah. I remember you told me about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, man. what the? Fuck? And um, man, uh, the fat rosies. You, to be honest, man, it's it's become like a cool go to go to for me. Yeah. <laughs> you know me and my wife because. You know, there's there they got a few man. They're in south as south as Frankfurt. They've got Schaumburg, Naperville. There's the one in Naperville we went to. Yeah, remember yeah. that was oh, all. Yeah. It was packed. It was, it was packed. packed. It was packed as shit. You know, what what did we, we end up at? We, 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 we went Empire. Did we go to Empire? We ended up oh, yeah, right. the Burger oh, Fest. That was good, man. I don't regret that. We've been there so many more times after that. You know, but but the fat rosy guys, man, they've shown us a lot of love, a lot of support, and their food is amazing. The atmosphere is dope, man. I'm gonna have like I honestly, man, I go there. I'll have a beer or two, but I'll probably have three or four margaritas, man. Oh, they have some badass margaritas, man. Yeah, I went. to Kill it with that, that, the food, and you know, great, great ambiance, man. Um, th- those guys for sure, and then they're kind of all over. Yeah. 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 Speaking of Naperville, it's uh, what's oh man, uh, yeah, we got um, um, shout out to our friend Patrick out there. Uh, we got Cubo out Cube? there. Okay, hell yeah, yeah that was yeah. I've, nice. I've been there. I've been there. You've been to that one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the whole really group, good. pretty much. Oh, group! Right. They got they got some restaurants. Uh, Bien Trucha, Bien Trucha, it's yeah. dope. También, a toda madre, a toda madre, been there. Hell yeah, bro! Yeah. yeah, yeah, they got they got some great. Food oh, those there, are all bro. the same guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the same same oh, group. That's and, in, and, is that and, in Geneva or what is that? Yeah, it's yeah, right? Geneva, yeah. Um, Glen, Glen Ellen. Ellen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We started yeah, getting on to the suburbs. Uh, we also got uh, Barchido and Donald's Grove. Barchido, man, yeah. yeah. But uh, I haven't been to that one. You know, not too far from here. También, man. We um like two months ago, we we ended up my wife and. And I and, and and my sister in law La Parra in Berwyn. Shout out oh, to Mito yeah, Cayo Jose yeah, there, yeah. man. Um, they, they've been supporting us for the last few months. You as guys well. are in there as well. Yeah, we're in there as well. Ah, that man. food's amazing, bro. Bro, they that, told that me to go check that out. Yeah, what did the, you have? The, 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 Do you remember the, what you have? The space, huh? What did you eat? Oh man, we we had a, one of their pizzas. We had some pasta. We kind of ordered like five or six dishes and just ah. shared, bro. But everything's so good, man. It's it's like. It's like um, part tapas, but uh, también Italian food. Like it's it's badass, man. The fusion, oh, the fusion works perfect. The the ambiance, it's it's badass, bro. It's the nice. The space, cool too. drinks are everything's yeah. good, man. Yeah, we had a very good time there. You know what? Yeah. Once we become a little bit more successful, all of us, we should do like a check, please. You guys oh remember hell check, please? yeah, I'm down. We can do that now, actually. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, love yeah. check, please. Yeah. They la, just, hey, like, let's do it. La cuenta, la cuenta. I don't want to see. Because uh, I think they already they they called it the quits. Done? Yeah, yeah, they just called it quits yeah, this last season. That's a bad show, man. It was on forever. That was the only reason why I watched Channel Eleven. Yeah, ten, twelve years, right? 
Because um, the, 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 the original, the original host, um, what is it, Al- Alpana Singh? Yeah. yeah. Like she, she left. Then, they, then, then there was someone else. I don't even remember. And then she came back at the. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, I don't remember when she left. Yeah, that's a yeah, great but that's show, a man. great show. I'm down, man. Let's start working I'm on it. I'm in fucking left field. I swear to God, you have no idea what that I is, do you? Wow. wow, you gotta like, send you some fuck, YouTube links, bro. Yeah. Bro, check I'm gonna look please. it up. I'm gonna look it it's up. It's awesome. Check please. It, quick note is like if us four we went to the restaurant, yeah. to a particular restaurant, we're gonna pick a restaurant. You go with a group of friends or with a date, whatever, and igual nosotros, and then we meet up here. And we talk about our experience. So, yeah. So, we go oh, to your recommendation. You go to our recommendation. Yeah. Y, oh, yeah. yeah everyone yeah, yeah. recommends, everyone recommends it. Restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, different place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you say yours. Yeah. I say mine. Yeah. Pero and then we come back and, and, Javi's gonna, and Javi's going to be like, that was not al pastor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was not yeah. full gras. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if I said that. Hey, right. bro, let, let, let's let's uh, let's let's keep that. It's uh, ground you like pork. that. Like they like that one. Huh? Yeah. Like, it's ground pork. What yeah. Are you about? Oh, you know I was gonna say, man, we can get our uh, we can get our shout out to um our boy um uh Chewy CR Films. Oh, oh killing yeah, 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 yeah. it on the on the on the pictures on the, on the all the content, all the videos. He's so good, bro. I was gonna say we can we can hire Chewy to come fucking uh, shoot video with us, man. And then we can. Uh, yeah, yeah, some of my man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I can say that we can stop hire, talking yeah, about yeah, it. Before we can somebody hire else Georgie's does brother it. with the jazz because hey, you know uh, Check Me has that little jazz going yeah, in the back. Yeah, and shit. Fuck yeah. Bro, bro, you gotta check that out. Yeah. It's a great idea. Yeah, keep it in mind, everyone. It's, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, but it's a Trade pretty bad scene. Right. Hey, and who else better to do it with? Like, well, there they had different. There was only like one main host, and then it was different. Three, three guests. I think it was three guests. Yeah, and it was like. Like different guests, uh, yeah. It, as far as like their background, yeah. It, it was, it was. It could have been you, or for the seat of random people, you yeah. Know? So yeah, someone right. who first grade who teacher, was a doctor, a teacher, yeah. you know, Engineer. a nurse, or and yeah, yeah. All, they're from all walks of life, and they didn't recommend just fancy restaurants. No. It was a lot of neighborhood restaurants that right. that they believe in the and that they ones, think are the, the best. The neighborhood you know? restaurants, yeah. Yeah. suburbs, yeah. city, everything, you know? yeah. Soul food. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Yeah, that show was awesome, man. Yeah, we're on to something. I like that, yeah. <laughs> Keep that shit. Well, they were on to something, but we can Hey, guys, don't listen to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we edit right this part out? Jose, I think we're going to have to edit we're, this we're, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're not going to release idea. this yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're just going to have a big... We're actually right after to edit. We, right after we finish this, go to legal Zoom and I was gonna say, I'm, I'm going to have to have the trademark. This comes out in, what, two two weeks, maybe? Yeah, we have like two, three weeks. Okay, okay. We got time. We'll get to it. We'll come up with... Yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, take that, care of it. That's yeah. a good idea, though. Hell yeah. Because there's two, there's a lot of fucking restaurants. Yeah. But we have to keep it strictly Mexican. Think, like, right? like, like, Hispanic. Yeah, yeah, that's what I hope. Thinking about the show, they didn't even, like, they, the cameras went just to get, like, a little shot, but no es que lo seguían. No, no, no. no, no they would just no, go and no. eat and, and come the, back. And they wouldn't even show them. They yeah. would just show, like, the just kitchen. Clip, oh, yeah. this is something we can do, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Not for nothing. Yeah. Ahorita que me estoy, estamos platicando. Back in the day, I had told Jesse... Uh, Jesse yeah. Legrandote for yeah. the people out there listening he likes to eat right like we all do but he really yeah, likes yeah. to eat and um, <laughs> I had told him bro why don't we put a camera in your ass and just go to all these fucking places oh, no. oh, yeah. Hell yeah. and just fucking do like a food show man just yes. do like you know oh today I'm having some tacos because the day we did the, the podcast with him we had like a fucking half hour worth of like best burger yeah, yeah, yeah. What it all depends. What kind of burger do you want? <laughs> Smash Best, burger, yeah. or steak yeah. burger. Best taco. Oh, it all depends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pastor, asada. Like, it all depended with yeah, you. But we had like you so, want an old school taco, modern taco. Yeah, like exactly. Yeah. Gourmet taco Gourmet, and shit. Yeah. So we had tons of fun with him. But he would be another good guy to. Oh, well, he's bro. another foodie, man. Let's, yeah. let's, I think we should work on it, right? We're, we're gonna work on it. Yeah, yeah. No, we're going to. I like that idea already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the yeah. 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 Me too. Me After this, we'll talk. Then tomorrow, we'll, we'll talk, talk with Fry and we'll. Hey, we'll, come up with a little logo. We'll get it going. Hell yeah. Hell this yeah. is the name of it and yeah. shit. We can do the whole thing where, where, we send, where we send a camera and talk, say, yeah. talk to the chefs, a little short thing to introduce yeah. their restaurant and their story, Tamien, to feature them. And, you know, and then it'll just be our, our honest feedback. Okay, you know? so yeah. pretty much, pretty much same thing. Though, yeah, as far as like, we, they don't have to record uh, yeah. us. If, if it's not, yeah, if it's not broken, don't fix yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's a perfect so, concept, man. So we're, we're the ones gonna be eating at all these restaurants. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, yeah. Pues uno recomienda yeah, yeah. Uno Fuck, you guys know all the restaurants. Sign, the sign only difference up. is we're not gonna get different. Guess. Yeah, it's we're the guests. gonna be we're outside like time. Dude, that, tell me that's not perfect, bro. I, I think we're yeah. gonna start it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> 
So yeah. after this podcast, we're all hungry and shit. Because look at it. Well, well, we can get some guests. I was going to say that. If some we, guests, guests. Yeah, <laughs> if we want to invite friends, like let's just say yeah. we invite Jose, Chabelo. Yeah. Oh, we're going to let Jose. But they can come with be. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're going to talk about it kind yeah. of thing, you know? Like, they can go... Yeah, they're gonna we get. We can have a segment. Yeah. Uh, you know, what do the friends think? I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what do you? What did you guys think yeah. about yeah, it? Whatever. Food cult, oh, you know, my, my boy yeah. Chavelo didn't like the fucking edamame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or some shit. They like call that, that edamame. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Era man. pizzas, garbanzos, yeah. michoacanos. Because oh, that's what it is, right? I mean, the edamame, pretty much. You know, man. this this is dope, man. Because it can it doesn't it's not just gonna be Mexican restaurants. It's gonna be everything, you know. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Should we keep it Mexican? Should we not? A little bit of everything. Yeah, there's there's enough of everything. For Latino restaurants to show love to, so we're not going to run out of that. We, well, we can definitely true. can. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I yeah. mean, a lot of the restaurants you guys were fucking <clears throat> naming off, those were all most of them Mexican restaurants. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You, guys know yeah. About, yeah. you guys know about a bunch of restaurants that I'm sure a lot of people don't know about. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, I hope you guys write those down and check them out. Porque, Even if you yeah, go down I Pulaski, mean, you're going to find like 30 restaurants. Hell I mean, yeah. There, there's I mean, there's a lot of little, everywhere. I keep hearing about this little hole in the wall and. 26 or something where it's something I don't know if it's like a it looks like a Chinese restaurant in front but atrás hacen unos tacos del pastor what? or oh, something shit. yeah shout out to my boy um Danny chef Danny Espinosa man he, he told me about awesome. it, but he, I don't. He never sent me. I think it was him, but he never sent me the actual where it's at. Where it's at. So Danny, if you listen to this, <laughs> yes, send the link. please send that, man. <laughs> Danny, you guys brought up Danny too. Yeah, Omar, yeah, right? yeah. He'll be a great guest too, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll be talking. Yeah. Bring him on. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a chef, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great guy, man. He a ta- super talented guy, man. There's this. Uh, the other thing that you know, we have the luxury of not having to just do restaurants. Like, there's so many food trucks now too, and shit. Yeah. And, um, oh, yeah. Over there by my mom's house, uh, like on. Cermak in Fairfield, there's a little, I, I, I went to go visit my, my parents this weekend and I asked my mom, like, hey, mom, pues ahí en la pinche tienda, se llama la Copacabana, and there's this little ass, like a fruit vendor uh-huh. cart, but it says pescaditos. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on there? Because there was like 30 people, bro. Like, it was fucking foolish shit. Big ass line. Big ass line, way. And she's like, oh, it's always like that. Holy and shit. we noticed that their price went from a dollar fifty a pescadito to two dollars okay. a pescadito. Yeah. And um, they're like, it's just pretty much like a, like a breaded pescadito. And okay. Shit. And they just give it to you like that. Like it's just like, I don't know if it's so like it's, fish so and it's, chips. It's, it's kind simple. Of thing. It's it's very simple. simple and it's gotta yeah. be good as fuck. Man. I, got, it's, I imagine it's gotta be good. <laughs> like I'm not I'm so, not the so biggest fish too. type person, yeah, but yeah. If, if people are waiting in line, like. We'll try that shit. <laughs> yeah, that shit was slammed way. I was, I, yo se me quedé como, there, there had to be a shooting because we're on Sir Megan Fairfield. Oh, man. No, venden pescaditos. Oh, shit, all right. I'm sure. But yeah, yeah. Ahí mataron los pescaditos. Yeah, yeah. So we can go and hit up all those little spots and Hell shit. Hell yeah, man. But yeah, man, I like the idea. I like uh, the we, idea. We're on to something. We're going to have to run to that. We're on to something. We're going to have to run with the idea, but... Other than that, bro, well, that that was that was a good little food. Now yeah, let's, let's yeah. order some tacos and shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. How are you guys doing with drinks? We're good. A ver, I'm good. Y para, y para, y para I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Beers, Thank you, bro. These beers creep up on you, bro. <laughs> yeah, they do. Um, let's keep moving it, bro. Let's keep doing uh Vamos. let's keep doing the or I see I, I I keep saying let's go back to the beer and we never hit the beer. <laughs> but let's let's do hit the beer now. Um uh I know that you guys busted out the Maisal, uh Sal Limon not too long ago, but it's kind of one of the, the newer things. Mm-hmm. Um do you have other than the seltzer, do you have other things in mind that are gonna come out, more flavor or more styles? Um it, are, are there certain styles that that are kind of seasonal, and then you bring them back for certain seasons or something like that. Uh, de- definitely, man. Like stouts, like like tempestad, hit seasonal. So once it starts getting chillier outside throughout the winter, we'll, we'll have those. Okay. Like the Nemo's, um, it's a nine percent uh, imperial stout. We've got one with um, vanilla and cacao, then one with hazelnut and cacao. You okay. go one that's just like the base stout, no no other stuff added to it, no adjuncts, where it's um, just aged in the bourbon barrels for a year. So, ah, so you yeah, open yeah, yeah. that, you smell it, you get that bourbon aroma, you get the taste. Did you bring some of those here? Yeah, 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 were, yeah. yeah. They yeah, were telling yeah, me yeah, that it was kind of woody, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's sitting in a year, you know, in a, in a bourbon barrel. Right. Thank you. Damn. And so the, the flavor comes through, man. But but along those lines of stouts, we're actually working with, um, with a, a good friend of ours, um, again, another talented chef. 
another talented Mex- Mexican chef here in Chicago, Jonathan Zaragoza. You know, okay. his family has um, Birreria Zaragoza on the ah, south side. You know, yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. killing Very it. Popular you know? down here, bro. And he's he's working on a on a concept, a project in um, Logan Square. Yep. And cool. we're actually he was just at the brewery, man. Um, they, they were working on uh, on a beer. stout. Have you wanna you wanna tell them? Yeah, we're working about on a stout. Uh, we're working on a so we're working on an horchata stout. Ooh. It's gonna be it's gonna be like thirteen yeah. percent. Oh, you did you, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know it was gonna be horchata though. Yep, thirteen percent. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Uh, we're shooting to have it like late January, early February. Hopefully, it'll be out. Hopefully sooner, but that's pretty much yeah. Yeah, and that one awesome. we're excited yeah, for that man because it's gonna be that a sounds a, he- a heavier stout, but it's gonna yeah. have a full flavor like horchata. It's not just gonna be like a flavoring added or yeah. a mix. It's going through the whole process. But that's twelve percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. About thirteen shooting yeah. for it. Yeah. 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 So what does that mean, bro? Does that mean like con una, con una you're, 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 happy. Happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're happy, bro? Uh, two, you're good. Nah, two. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> two, you're probably yeah. gonna be sleeping. Yeah, two. Yeah, for, for, yeah. for the for the weaker guys like me, yo con una, like I'm, nah, I'm you beat your weaker two. guys. No. <laughs> Six bro, three, like, yeah. Yeah. bro. That fucking day that we did the pot, I'm like, we just went through all this beer. Oh remember? my goodness, bro. We're like, we're like, nah, we're not gonna need that much, but we had enough. But no. Wiped them out, bro. Wiped and out tequila. the beer. Tequila. And tequila. <laughs> oh, Shout out man. to Palazandre and Tres yeah. Canciones. Yeah. It was, yeah, uh, yeah. It was nuts. 13% compa. I, horchata, man. That's exciting, way because yeah, that's one excited. of my favorite drinks, bro. Pre-diabetic it's... years. No, man. Yeah, sure. it's got a good amount of Mexican sugar in that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's got a... That's... Yeah, we were super excited for that one, man. Like, like... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we we feel that that that's gonna be something that people are waiting for like every winter, you know, one of those seasonal releases that are gonna be like, oh shit. <laughs> how about like some? And uh, how about something like uh, like canela or something like that? Is we've that done some, we've done like our, our cafecito with our coffee yeah. porter with with canela as well, kind of for Christmas. Okay. Um, and and we 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 want to do it again. No más que ahorita with it's time. The production schedule is kind of we're, yeah. we're kind of busy. Yeah. So it's yeah. like I said we said earlier, it's hard to put out some things that we want to put out because other things have to come out as well yeah, other yeah, beers you know and, yeah uh, and, and we actually uh take time to do the recipes right you know like i know we weren't we, by the time we're done we're working on this beer with jonathan for a couple of months just recipe by the time we work on the recipe do a couple of test patches and get it out right ingredients the right ratios it takes time you know we're not gonna just throw cinnamon and canela and something and take it. Yeah, yeah we yeah. definitely do we we're the we're the kind of people that do not like to rush it Right. We, if it gets delayed a month or two or three or four, but it's done right, it's done well, and then we're we're completely fine with that. You know, just we might be excited for it, but see, see, no, if it's not ready, we don't feel it's ready, then we're yeah, gonna we're gonna release it when it's it. ready or or whatever the project I mean, is. Yeah. Same thing with coffee. We're we're yeah. hoping to release stuff by Mid December. Thanksgiving. Remember oh, Black we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, at this point, like, yeah. uh, we're working on the packaging, you know, yeah. the bags and some boxes and a, b- a little I mean, back and forth here we're like, and there. We're waiting two years. What's another month? What's well, another month or two? Oh, yeah. But you know? I agree. To where to we're happy with it, yeah. you know, not just to throw something just out, throw there, out there. You know, we're gonna launch. We're gonna launch right. Yeah. You know? So man, why can't wait for that? And then, and then the uh, Saragossa, did he pretty much say, "Hey, let's come up with this horchata concept kind of thing"? Uh, we, we, we kind of just started talking. It's just so like yeah, to do like Instagram like and stuff, and and actually my dad knew him before us. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh shit, for like years, for like ten years, because my dad works for uh, Fortune Fish, deliver food to restaurants. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah. everywhere he would go, I'd be like he, you know, and my dad would be his driver for some reason. Like he would get lucky, and my dad would be his driver. So they call him senior. So he, he already knew my dad for years, and my dad would tell him, hey, I mean, see some cerveceros, and he he didn't know we were his sons. And it was because I mean, yeah, and then we would talk here and there, you know, like. You know, commenting on each other's posts and stuff like that. I see my see my event. Yeah, we would support each other you know? through, through Instagram, man. See my yeah. event. Hey, what's up? But and we finally put two and two. Hey, oh, I'll show you that senior. Like he's delivering. It's funny because he he sent us a picture one time and it was like a selfie with him and my dad. And it's like, we're like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Man. Yeah, I haven't been to, to the Birria. It's yeah, a Birria, yeah. right? Yeah, it's right down yeah, the street. Yeah, but they're so popular. Right? Oh, yeah, they're popular. Yeah. They do, they do amazing say, work. I, I know I've heard of that name. Yeah, yeah. Fucking you tons should of definitely time. check out some. And the best That'll be one of the ones on the new podcast. Yeah. On yeah, the new man. show. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. And the best part is sure. it happened like the relationship with us, it was it, it was genuine. It wasn't like forced or 
we didn't seek out you know it was just yeah. genuine we happened to know each other and slowly got to know each other better and you know, let's, 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 and now he's doing he's gonna now we're doing do a little together. project up north yep. yeah 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 yeah, we're Man. excited for that too. But it's kind of like, like, like when we've talked, you know, like the relationship has to be genuine, right? Not yeah. just force or a ver que le saco este way or a ver, or vice versa. You know, mm-hmm. it's just coming together and hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what you're doing. Let's, you know, let's let's do, let's do something. You know, yeah. if we can, if si no se puede, you know, we've had people where we've talked. The you know, they're busy, we're busy. No se puede, but eventually we end up doing something. Yeah, you know, and it comes naturally. You know, it's like we're not gonna force it or rush it. You know, if it if it doesn't can't happen at this time, this point, it's gonna happen down the road. Right. You know, it's just a matter of when, but it's gonna happen. Yeah. 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 It's all a matter of uh, everything kind of lining up too, man. Right. Like it. You know. Yeah. It's gonna be just too. Sometimes you're busy, they're busy, but there's gonna be a point in time where then everyone's just gonna fucking be like, all right, let's do it. Yeah. It's time. Let's go. We yeah. Know we're both good. Or no más, but no se pudo. Yeah. No se pudo and no hard feelings and. Y no es porque no quiere uno es que a veces, right. you know, we're all, we're all busy. We're all trying to run. They're trying to run a restaurant. We're trying to run a brewery and do yep. other stuff, and just the way it is. Everything else you guys got going on. It happens, man. Like like we've had we've had partnerships. Um, shout out to the guys from Big Meat. You know we were we were partnered on the on the Palacasa Micheladas together. Um, now we're we're doing it on our own. You know, and at okay. the end of the day, it's it's just because you know, I mean they're busy. You know, so it's hard when both sides can't like put all the time and energy on, on something because you know they're running their own company we're running our own company correct yeah. so you know but we did we did something fucking badass that we're, we're all we're all proud of yep. you know sure. we had those micheladas out there for for about a year right yeah a little, a little bit over a year and pe- people were digging it man mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of effort time w- went into that you know and like like on our end it's it's for the way the brewery where we're at is set up it's hard to be able to do that right. So a lot of work went into trying to figure out how to how to do it well and then be able to can it, to package it, and, you know. But um, shout out to them, man. They, yeah. They're killing it out here yeah. with, with their micheladas. To, yeah. to us, they got the best micheladas out here, bro. You yeah, know, yeah. and now they're doing the Bloody Mary as well. i seen that. Which, which I, I've been dying to try. I'm going to pick one up. Um, you know, so they, they're killing it, man. They, they, they know what they're doing. And it's like companies like this, like, yeah, we work together. We still want to support each other, you know, down the road. Yeah, we'll, we'll still work on something, whatever we can, you know, but it's not like, oh, you know, oh, we don't like these guys or this or that. Nah, man. No, we're still Sometimes friends. it's just, yeah, yeah. It's business. Some, we just go other ways. Yeah. And but, but it doesn't mean that the Micheladas are going to stop, though. No, no, okay. we're, we're still we're still working on them. We're working hard to bring them back. Again, it's been tough with our production, man. So we're hoping in the next month, month or two, have, have some back out on the market because we had the Tamarindo. That, that right. does well, the mango chamoy as well. So Pepino. it's just a matter of right now, honestly, yeah. of, of tweaking, making the process even a little bit easier for us, right. if, if, if possible, you know. So, so they're coming back, man. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that, that's um, it's part of business, way. It is. It yeah. is, you know. You know, and we're super proud of those guys, man. They're, they're fucking killing it, you know. Yeah. Javi, the, the, Javi, the, he started from, you know, del- hand delivering his, his michelada mixes, you know. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I did he technically even start like at Paisans? I think he was the he manager. Was there. Yeah, there right. For, for a good, for a good for a long time. Yeah, yeah, that's where he started doing yeah. his yeah. mixes. Yeah, exactly. His, like, yeah, yeah. Mix and you know, and and like we, we need people like that in, in this industry. We need we need our people to fucking represent our flavors. You know, to not and be scared. Not though. exactly. Not scared. Do it well. Just kind of dive in, man. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like when when you're doing something, you you got to dive in, man. If you're really serious about something, you, you got to bust your ass and this is what I'm going to do and this is what I'm going to focus on. Yeah. You know? I agree. I think that's the only way to do it. I mean, there's things you can do part-time, side hustles and stuff. But if, if you ever want to scale something or grow it or, or eventually blow it up, you, you got there's no other way around that, man. Yeah. I agree that, and that's kind of where I was going with with you guys earlier with the whole um, not having the nine to five, kind of going with the whole. If, if you guys haven't listened, highly recommend the Ron Rodriguez where yeah, I was here. I know, yeah, you were here, and I know that's a little bit of where where my partner Bart also kind of like you know opens his eyes a little bit as far as like uh, the business aspect, right? Because I love the way he worded it. I love the way you're wording it. You know. You can have your side projects and your side hustle, but you know, in order to kind of do it right, mm-hmm. you kind of need to go all in. Yeah, like a hundred percent, and it's scary as shit. Yeah, Bro, and yeah. uh, you know, when we were doing the promoting back in the day, 
we would go into Ivan Fernandez's office, and there was this guy there. I forget his name. He was a dick. Um, and he would tell us, like, oh, you guys got jobs? And we're like, well, yeah, we got jobs, you know? And he's like, nah, you, you guys can't have jobs. And we're like, no, nah, well, we can't, we, can't, um, we can't afford to not have a job. Yeah. Oh, that was the mentality, you know? And um, you guys are on point where, where you guys have to fully commit to, uh, to the dream. And, you know, we oppress ourselves sometimes. Uh, or most of the time, we oppress ourselves by yeah. our, by our, you know, our state of mind being so afraid of taking that leap and shit. Yeah. But yeah, I agree with you 100%. Like, you know, the when you see it and, and when you know it's for you, you know, a darle. A darle sin miedo porque yeah. está cabrón. Está yeah. cabrón quedarte con la espinita, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, you know we, what? We had <laughs> literally just talked about that. Me and Javi. God damn, yeah. you before, fucking guys be, talked before, about Before. Before. <laughs> talked about before everything, we, man. Before we, it's, uh, it's, it's funny, like, like the, the like, like espinita, man, because I, I got some friends that joke around with me, like, like I'm a jack of all trades, you know? Because out of high school. <laughs> jack of all trades. Bro, you know, I, I did the music thing. You yeah. know, I had a little recording studio where I was recording a shitload of demos for a lot of bands. I did that for a while. Then I did fucking everything cooking i love cooking food stuff all that stuff you know i was uh, before brewing i was going to become a, a chef i wanted to become a go to school, go to a culinary school you know and then so much experience talking with chefs and it's it's and seeing chefs it's a tough gig man Fuck yeah. 16 hour days for the pay is not the best but it's the same thing you kind of got to bust your ass to build your brand that build dream. your name build yeah. yourself you know yeah. but, yeah. but i'm like am i that passionate right now about that <laughs> i'm like but i wanted more create creativity stuff so i'm like with beer it's where we can be like hey this is what we're doing you know we want to try this ingredient that ingredient and we're able to it's yeah. not going to be someone telling me oh no this is my restaurant you know we're doing this recipe or i need you to make this recipe no fuck that you know, where's like, yeah, you got to work your way up and everything. But at that point, I'm like, nah, I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's a tough gig, man. Uh, being being a chef, being a cook, all the, all the restaurant work. It's, it's, it's tough work, man. The restaurant, the restaurant world itself, my, my props to them, you know, um, again, when I was at the Board of Trade, I was there 14, 15 years. When I got out, I went out to be a general manager at Merendero, Merendero yeah. for a year and a half, bro. And that year and a half was worse than the 15 years that I was at, <laughs> at the Board of Trade. The stress yeah. level was fucking insane. Bro. Yeah. Um, and, and that was me just being like a manager and being the cool guy. And, and it was still fucking crazy. Man. So the, the restaurant world is, is nuts, man. Yeah. So I'm glad you didn't become a chef in a way. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. <laughs> I, I think I'd still, I, I think I would have busted my ass and, right. and it, and it would have been cool, but oh. But it's not the same, man. The beer's better, way. The beer's better. <laughs> At the end sure. of the day, you never say never, right? Yeah, I no, mean, right. you know that that's that's um that's what because it's all coming together, bro. Yeah. But when you think about it, like, our, our eventually once we grow into our own space, it's gonna have the beer, it's gonna have the coffee, the chocolates, the tortillas, the food. It's yeah, all going to be there. You're going to have Jose in the kitchen in Madrisa. You know what, man? Yeah, There's yeah. going to be some recipes that I'm going to do, some recipes that he's going to do. We want to have a say in this. You're you know? into cooking too, Javi? I am. Yeah. Just, uh, I don't cook as much as I want to, but I love food. I yeah. love being creative, you know. That's part of the reason why I wanted to be a brewer as well. Same thing with the coffee, just learning new stuff. That That's the fun part for me. I just, I kind of regret that I, I've always worked with my hands, but I, I kind of figured it out. You know, you figure out what you want to do later in life. Yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't in my 20s. It wasn't like 21. It was six years ago, five years ago when we started brewing. I actually took the leap that we're talking about. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, I'm going to start doing this, doing that. Something that you're passionate about. I swear I would have done it sooner, but at the end of the day, it's never too late. Hell no. See? There's always time, man. <clears throat> Go check out my guys. Um, yeah, but, but all that's coming together, and then we have the... Um, then we have music aspect that, that everything we fucking love, man, it's all going to come come together one day and I'll be a part under one roof and under one brand and just keep keep building with that. Yeah. I fucking, I mean, this is, this is the ideal situation that I want a lot of listeners to, to listen, uh, to learn, porque even though it did take you all those years, I think that at the same time it's a, I kind of wanted to chime in on the fact that, you know, we're telling 
we're we're stating our stories and saying go all in, go 100%. Yeah. But it's also got to be a little bit calculated, right? Like, in a way. It does. Porque it does. uno puede decir, pues, me voy a meter al 100, pero pues no a lo pendejo, ¿verdad? No, o sea, no. You yeah. gotta, hay que pensarle. Be, hay que pensarle <laughs> bien. Yeah. Pero no hay que tenerle miedo, pero hay que pensarle. Yeah. You gotta yeah. at least plan a little bit. Yeah, so even though it took you those those years to, to do it, I mean, in a way, I think it lined up. We're going back to lining up, right? Because if yeah. it would have happened six years prior, you know, who who's to say that you would not be ready for that yeah. leap, right? Exactly. Um yeah. And for everyone that's listening, and for my for my guy here, Bart, who's he's in the middle of that situation. Um, yeah. uh, you guys como, talked I, about I, it, right? That's what I get. I can tell these guys, hey, yeah. come I mean, inside. Yeah, yeah. Just because we were both in the union, you know, yeah. we're like, man, it's good ah, money. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's good yeah. money. But yeah. then the day, you know, it sucks. It sucks not having that income, but you just gotta plan for it, you know, like. Se acomoda, uno. So, yeah, 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 se acomoda, yeah. man. It was funny. I I didn't even really know how to tell Javier. I was like. I don't even know how to say this, but I guess I'm uh, I'm like, I don't know. I'm doing something, but I'm not going back to work right oh, now. Oh, I'm man. like, and we're going to try something different. So that's exactly what we were talking yeah. about, though, that's too. Weird. I'm, I was that's telling him, I'm like, about I'm, like uh, I'm like, well, I fucking was telling Carlos that I need to come and we need to plan some shit out because I feel like I'm not getting much done. But I'm like, it's different. You know, we're just, it's something yeah. different. Because we were, we're gonna, talking about earlier, it's like, I wake up, you know, go back to bed, wake up. <laughs> And then he's good to go. He's like, am I supposed to be doing something? Yeah. It's like you figure out, like, should I be doing more or less? Or at the end of the day, just getting your strides, you know? Just focus. Like he was saying, just start planning for new episodes, seasons, and start I think going. More events. More events. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, yeah, that yeah. it's as simple as, um, uh, ahorita que no está mi compadre, Friday, I'm going to talk about him. But even when my compadre was kind of pushed into that situation, yeah. Um, it was more of a, uh, in a way, kind of just getting up and, and doing stuff. Like, you le say, compa, you don't have to get up and work right away, you know, from home. Get up way and, and, and do a little breakfast or go for a little fucking walk. And, Coffee. Yeah, yeah. Like, so you just got to get in motion, bro. Like, and, and Some people thing. have a routine. Yeah, like a you routine. Know, for, I didn't want to call it a routine to get, to get you going. because a routine can be good and bad. It, it could, yeah, yeah. But the point is... To do something, right? To yeah. get up and just, you know, fuck it, I'm going to wake up at whatever time you're going to set your alarm, but just to do it. Uh, instead of, like, do, waking up and then just going back to sleep. And, like, now, if you're up already, pues, pongas a limpiar or pongas a hacer so, esto or yeah. pongas a hacer algo. Like, it's just a matter of doing it. Yeah. Because once you're up, then you're doing it, and then you're up, and then you just start getting, you know, the brain going and fucking working. And and I, I think that's where, where Bart's at. Well, we, he barely started with this. The other... The other Beautiful, beautiful thing about all this stuff is the fact that, in his case, I think that um, uh, there's way more support in, in the circle than when, like, let's just say when we were doing it, mm -hmm. because you're, we were just doing it like, fuck it, let's just do it, y a ver qué, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Calculado, pero una ver qué calculado and sí. shit. And with us, more like, all right, well, we're here to kind of, like, walk you through this shit. Yeah. Anyway, right? Yeah. Kind of as a, a little cushion, you know, guide you through it. Yeah. yeah. And it's crazy. I don't know. Maybe it's just our culture too. It's like, oh, get a good job, get a good job, get a good job. Why are you gonna do that? You know? Because even we have family like go to school, go to school, go to school, go to school. Yeah, yeah. We had, we had, we had, uh, we had someone we're, we're, who would always tell us like, come up to to see the where we're brewing. Y cuánto, cuánto se gastaron y cuánto y, y les va y les va a quedar. A poco sí les. Sí, 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 sí. You know? so, Never you know, failed, bro. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and luckily, I honestly, we didn't have that. too many of those, man. We we, yeah. we had a, we had support. There were some negatives and doubters, uh, but still wishing us well. You know, right. but 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 you can always tell that 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 doubt and yawita. You know, when, when you're getting started on something and you hear someone, oh, pero están gastando mucho dinero y que esto que lo otro. I mean, you know, we've always had the support of our parents. You know, they're like, hey, if you guys feel good about it and you're gonna bust your ass, do it. You know, I mean, our equipment at home, just with stuff we have at home. Print like thirty grand. I was yeah, gonna more. say, oh, I and it's closer to like thirty-five. Yeah, and, so like, and, and this started. So when when we first started brewing, it started where, you know, I was I was done with music. I was like a year in between trying to figure out what I'm gonna do next because I always want to get into something, you know. So I told Javi, six hundred bucks, we can buy a stove top kit and we'll brew it there, you know. Ni, ni celada, not even grains. It's just liquid form where it's a it's an extract kit. Mm -hmm. you know and then we started looking more and more into it and i'm like Javi, check this out and then i show him one something expensive then he'll come back with something more expensive <laughs> you know we're, we're like how does a brewery actually work and what do we need to do you know and this is before we even brewed a beer 
You know, before we even brewed any beer at all, we had already spent like 35 grand worth of equipment. Holy shit. You know, shit. But, but everything was able to be the process completely Walito Kuna Big Brewery, what you see now at, at District Brew Yards. So all the temperature can be controlled, everything dialed in, because one of the main things we look before even getting into brewing is like temperature control is key. That's you, the number one thing. Yeah, yeah. you know, for, for the yeast, you know, you, you have to be able to repeat these beers at, at a controlled uh, temperature. Cambia two, three degrees, una... una um, when I beer the yeast, cambia el sabor. It's a whole different ah, beer. Shit, okay. You know? So that was one of one of the main things. We did that and shit, the first batch we tried, we fucked it up. We, fucked it up. <laughs> you know, we put um fil- one of the some of the filters backwards y all the pinches cerrada was just coming out of the, the pot. Ah, you know? Shit. And we're like, all right, fuck it, let's clean up and we'll try it again in the morning. So we literally got up like at six in the morning the next on Sunday and did it again and, and it was smooth as fuck you know on a Sunday Damn. yeah yeah, yeah. Well, th- this is when we would brew because we would be yeah. working you know yeah, I, working. I had two jobs yeah, most of the Monday time Friday. Yeah, yeah. at once you know I was working fucking 14, was working. 16 hours so yeah. it would either be Friday night or Saturday and Sunday sometimes yeah. Friday night we'll be there cl- cleaning the tanks from the last beer that came out sand it's it's, it's it's una chinga, bro. it's more cleaning and sanitizing than you're actually brewing bro you gotta make mm-hmm. sure everything's clean sanitize everything's tight no no air leaks none of that you know and sometimes friday nights we're like yeah if we wanted to go out all right we got to make sure we clean these tanks leave them ready to go for the next for the, day yeah que empecemos un poquito tarde. at least we're we're home but we're we're ready to go yeah, yeah exactly yep. you know and sometimes you know if he had to work or i had to work on the weekend well, we're like yeah. he'll start it and i'll go i'll get there and finish or i'll start there were there, there were plenty of times where like I'm there on a, on a weekend by myself or he's there on a weekend by himself because I'm doing something or he had to work or I had to work, you know, and we just get it done, you know, make make Holy up for shit. it in another way, you know. Luego, también, un desmadre, man, we would fill a shitload of kegs, like little five-gallon homebrew kegs. Yeah. You know, I guess we would fill up to 16 kegs at a time, un sábado. Yeah, you know, beers that, beer. would, that would come out, all those four tanks were ready to come out. Carved up and we we, we fill them. That's when we plan the parties. Yeah, exactly. You know? ah, that, so yeah. we always had people over, even if it was just people hanging out inside the house, five, 10, 15 people to 30, 40, 50, 60 people out in the yard. See, when I hear stuff like this way, to me, it's more like it's, it's badass because now it's like um, now you guys go to the brewery, right? Yeah. Now you guys go to a brewery on Ashland. Um and fucking look at, you know, you. I imagine you guys think back to that, mm-hmm. to those moments, and then oh, you yeah. get, and then you guys walk into the brewery, the big ass fucking, yeah. you know, Giant tanks, yeah. yeah, the tanks yeah. Again, like, that that are there, and I mean, I think that's gotta be so so rewarding, way like, you know, just to think of of how how much you guys did go through, even though it's six years or two years, yeah. you know, all of that. You know, you know what, what's what's dope? It, it's a beautiful feeling, honestly, I, man. But you know what's even better, man? Just thinking where we can be in five, six years. I where, agree. where if we keep busting our ass, where we can take this? Yeah. You know, you know, Brewyard has has been great for us, man. It's 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 definitely um, a spot where I, I, everyone feels welcomed. You know, we, when we have uh, Norteños or a DJ or Lamento or like even every you know shit yeah. like that. But when people, los, the people that come for us feel welcome. But also when we have events and there's other people that are already there. You know, and they're like, oh, what's going on here? You still see them hanging out, yeah, having a good ground. time, dancing, yeah. you know? And that's what we want. We, we want to we wanna play. We wanted a place where everyone feels welcome, you know? Yeah. Because there's, there's so many spots that are a little more hip, modern, y tienen su, sus aesthetics, you know? But like a place like that where it's a little more industrial, uh, more n- natural with the wood beams y todo, I think everyone feels welcome there, you know? And even, <coughs> even some of the Camino tables, you know, like... Years ago, like our parents would 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 no one would sit like that. Fuck you me. know, it, it'll be weird. Not it'll that they weird. would. It'll be weird. Yeah, but right. now, even you know, if someone comes and sit next to someone. Yeah, can we sit here? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a big ass table open it's for normal, everyone. Right? <laughs> it's yeah. normal. Yeah, it's, it's my table. Yeah, 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 yeah. My table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> table of six like, for two people. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a fucking that's a beautiful thing, man. Um, I, I'm very 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 happy for you guys. I'm, Thank uh, you, bro. Thank you. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm glad we had this conversation too because I think it, it puts um, after so many years of of doing, in and I hate to bring my myself and the Wakata team up, in so much so many times, but as far as you know, doing something for so long, you always yeah. need something or someone 
to come into uh, your path and, and kickstart you again. And I, um, I and, agree, man. And not too yeah. much that we were like fucking dead yeah. or anything like that, but just a, a kickstart, like yeah. to bring another breath of inspiration. Like right away, I'm thinking like, oh shit, you know what? We really need to to get on it with uh, with Fry and 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 make us humilde super super you know marketable on shirts and 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 just merch and you know i'm thinking merch and you, yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. already have merch and yeah, you know yeah. and hats and everything but and just make it like a household name you know that's my brain yeah, yeah that's what i mean by the inspiration of having conversations well with, that's what i tell javi it's the same thing you know same thing with with Avocate, you know do do our part whatever we can to to build together man yeah you know one, one day like like i i say it jokingly sometimes but not jokingly there's there's a uh, there's some arenas you pass by and they have the names of like these, like vitamin companies, this arena, whatever yeah, you know. Banks or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, so, like yeah. one day, man, Casa Milde, Casa Milde, yeah, Casa Milde yeah. Arena. You know, oh, oh Why a, not? a cool Why not? smaller yeah. arena that's gonna host some badass, some violets, some yes, sir. some badass concerts. You know, why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? You is know. Right. I think that's exactly what I meant, bro. And I'm telling you guys, I see Casamilde as the brand, bro, going so many places. Bro. Yeah, thank and, you, uh, man. It's Perfect name. That, yeah, yeah. Fuck, fuck yeah. That, I've always said that since the beginning. I love the fucking name. Thank you, you know? man. And and I I I love how you guys always bring everything back to the culture way. Oh, yeah. That, that, so that, that, I know that that's big for you guys. That's right there, that's right. no that's key, man. That's yeah. key for us. You know, like like uh, sometimes, like even on the names, you know. All our, I think all our names are in Spanish. So. Um, you know, yeah. well, AMG is AMG, but yeah. we're a Wakat the Music yeah. Group, you know. Yeah. But for the most part, I think unless it's a collaboration beer with someone, yeah, all of them you, they're in Spanish, you know. Yeah. All, all the names, Maisa, Lalva, um, no Neblina, any, Mangaso, you know, Tempestad, all the yeah, Tempesta, Media Naranja, Naranja, all that stuff, Campes you know. Yep. Campesino, yeah, Campesino, yeah. Campesino, yeah. yeah. You know all these beers, and, and and it's key. Sometimes people are like, "Well, what if what if someone who doesn't speak Spanish, no le entiende?" Because if they want to learn, they can Google it or look it up or ask. You know, but but if they don't want to take the time, then pues ni modo. What are you gonna do? Así como dicen, así como dicen tacos y torta. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. You know, they could just ask Siri, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah, that's that's um, I I like that um. Well, congrats, man. Congrats on all for that sure. stuff. Thank I think you, that, man. Uh, I appreciate it. I do want to thank you guys for coming in. I do want to, uh, you know, shout out everybody that, that supports you guys and is going to keep yeah, supporting you guys. Shout out to everyone, man. We appreciate find it. Beer um, and, yeah. You know, keep tagging us. Keep tagging oh, them. Yeah. We love seeing the love. The amare, we love everyone s- tag everyone, man. Yeah, if you bro, have every, friends that are, exactly. that are, that are out everyone. there, That's que les cuesta to just repost, man. Yeah. Repost, share what they're doing. Everyone appreciates it, man. Like, like, like. Honestly, no doubt. It, it's dope, man. We we truly appreciate it. Where I I tell my wife, like, we get random people hit us up. We like, hey, on on Instagram or Facebook, they'll be like, hey, I love what you guys are doing for for the culture. You know, these are random people that we don't know. Hell yeah. You know, when just random emails sometimes we're like, hey, you know, we tried your beers. We know you guys are Mexican. You're from Durango, and you guys are representing. Thank you. You know, shit. Thank you for buying our beers. You know, but we get we get so much love. So yeah. why not? Everyone, man, just we're we're all here. To, we're all in it together, man. Help each other out. Lo que se pueda, nada se pierde, man. What For makes sure. me kind of smile too is the fact that <laughs> they uh, randomly be at a baile, and it's happened a handful of times, right? So a handful is a good amount of times in my book. Uh-huh. And they'll be like, <laughs> "Yeah, man." And I'm like, yeah. "Oh yeah. shit." It's become like a little catchphrase, Bro, which, like, which is beautiful. Somebody had yeah. even uh, told me, uh, ah, I can't put my... my, yeah. my well, even so, a lot of the bands, también, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, well, they're, all the bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But somebody, uh, so, uh, I think it was Jesiel. Oh, yeah. Uh, from Now Los Toxis. Um, Saludos, Jesiel. Man. Yeah, para oh, yeah. Zeke. Um, que es he's el quemao. He es el, es el quemao. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, he's like, bro, bro, I love Jesse, bro. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> But you gotta do the voiceover for Casa Milde, uh, bro. Because fucking Jesse doesn't say he's on the I'm like, ah, oh, you're right. Oh, you know, like, well, probably, yeah, yeah, he's got a good point, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'll yeah, redo it for yeah. season four, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. But yeah, um, I think that's pretty badass. And well, for me, it's just more satisfaction to know that people are listening and people are, are paying attention and people are drinking it. Yeah. And I also want to take advantage and have this uh, online to, to thank you guys because... Uh, Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that um, 
AMG was going to have like, like a beer. You know, like honestly, never in my wildest dreams. And other than just having a beer, fuck, man. Thank you to everyone that listens because the amount of messages, and I don't want to exaggerate. And maybe I, maybe I am exaggerating because maybe like above 10 messages to some is not a lot. But when I have like, you know, 15 or 20 messages from people just constantly asking me, when is it coming out? When is it out yeah. again? Where can I get it? Where can I get it? And, and it makes me smile. And, you know, the big part is because you guys, you know, made it happen. And, and uh, fucking thank you. Thank, that's oh, fucking thank incredible. Thank you guys for all the support. Yeah, yeah man. man. Like, like I said, man, if, if it's working on, on a beer together or doing events, like what we're planning for, for some of the live stuff too, yeah. just, man, whatever what we can do to help each other. And fuck, you guys are more known. Your, your, your organization, your Los Grupos, everyone, you know, your yeah. events. We both have our platforms, you yes, know? Yes, yes. Um, but for that, I, I do thank you guys. And uh, I know that we have a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, igual, apenas vamos empezando. Oh, yeah, man. Be yeah. on the lookout for the for the food podcast. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, but be on the lookout for a lot of things, including yeah. that, including Aguacate Live, including hopefully the uh, an album in 2022. Yeah, yeah. Um, Goals, um, Compuros Compas Podcast with the video where we are okay. going to feature Casomil as well, of course. Yeah. Sure. We do. I still have in mind the whole uh, it, things take time. Yes. I'm, I think that's why <laughs> we're very good together. Is because I'm a guy that likes to be cautious. Yeah, and likes to do things right. You will. And if yeah. I already waited my whole fucking life, what's yeah, another? What's it. another year? <laughs> yeah. Uh, which is the Avocado Live? Like, yeah. look, I, I'm not gonna rush it. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And when yeah. it does, it's gonna happen right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, same thing with the the. You know, I shot at you the whole Aguacate Podcast Network. Yeah, hell yeah, um, we're still fucking down, man. And I and I even mentioned it to yeah. some of the podcasters that I kind of, you know that I follow. Shout out to them. Um, so we have a lot of plans. Um, con que nos dejen los de arriba yes, el tiempo de poder hacer todo lo que tenemos que hacer, bro. <laughs> hell uh, yeah. Michael yeah. Bart, what are you thinking, man? Always way, what always are your fucking here? inspirational. Getting around like dudes like this way. Okay, you know, they've fucking been through it way. Jose. You guys, like you said, started from the bottom way. And I feel like you guys are already at a fucking great fucking spot way. Thank you, man. Nos falta. Y, y, no, no, no. no. <laughs> y, y, but, 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 I mean, that's what yeah. I said from the beginning way. But, 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 bro, you know, I'm fucking, I'm glad that you guys are here way, that I get to be around you guys and I see all the shit you guys got going on right now way. So. And they're going to be at the hills, man. bro. Likewise. And they're going to be yeah, at the hills. Shout Fidel. out, shout out oh. to Fidel, man. Bro, yeah. Fidel's big lover. Shout of out to Fidel, Fidel, man. We, we, uh, big we were time talking supporter. About we appreciate yeah. him, man. We, we were there the day. Remember, we were there the yeah, day. Yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, like, I tasted most of the beers that <laughs> yeah. day. I was like, I yeah. was yeah. fucked. But Fidel's <laughs> like, nah, I want all these yeah, beers. Yeah, hell yeah. But you know, yeah. the cool thing, real quick, uh, shout out to Fidel, um, para, toda la, para toda la familia Valerio. Yes, sir. Um, because that day... Uh, when he called me the next day, Fry and I, uh, for the menu design, he clearly made it very clear to us. I want to showcase Caso Milde. Like, I don't need to showcase Modelo. Damn. I don't need to showcase Corona. Like, no. I want, the only beer pictures I want is <clears throat> Caso Milde. That's awesome. Yeah, and I thought, you know, igual yeah. como los demás restaurantes que ustedes yeah. los apoyan. Yeah, man, we get a lot of those, um, and it's awesome, man. You know, Fidel also is a, a, a oh, big supporter. Big time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We're so excited. can't wait till they reopen. We're excited For to sure. work with them when they reopen, man. For sure. I mean, Hell yeah. A-Town. It feels amazing that they have that, they have that, that trust with our brand and, yeah, and yeah, us. Yeah, man. You know? Porque they, they, they don't have to. No one has to. No bro. one has to. No one has to. Yeah. You know, there's plenty of other uh, big beer. We we call it big beer. The big guys that where they can get cheaper prices. You know, y les va mejor, more profits for them. Right. But you know, they choose to work with us. Support. And that and that's an amazing feeling, man. Yeah. I agree, man. So Aurorita La Bella, yo se los encargo. For sure. A los compas de Casa Humilde. Yeah, yeah. Uh, saludos. So saludos, make sure you guys yeah. make sure you guys get ready when it's at the hills. As far as uh. On our side, um, we do want to thank you guys again. Uh, thank everybody that's listening. Make sure you guys follow us on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify. Subscribe January 2022. We will have video. Un saludo para toda la familia de Casa Humilde. Make sure you guys go check them out at the District Brew Yards, 417 North Ashton. Did I get that right? Yes, yes sir. See, I memorized uh, that already, bro. Uh, go check them out. Uh, your website. It's uh, www.casahumildecerveceria.com or you can go to stayhumilde.com. There you go. And then all your social medias. Uh, at at Caso Milde Cerveceria for Facebook and Instagram. Yep. Okay. So 
Se los encargamos muchísimo. Sure. Everybody that's going to listen to this by this time, AMG Beer will also be out already. So Hell yeah. les encargamos yeah. mucho de AMG get Beer. Get to it, get to it. You guys it's know going, the rules. It's going fast. They know the rules. The we, rules got more, are, we got more coming, but it's going fast. These guys gave me the rules. We're only going to do more when we fucking run out. So you guys got to drink up. <laughs> you, gotta finish hey, it. I, you guys finish the first it. batch. Pa Second batch is bigger. Pa que esté siempre. Pa que esté siempre. Yeah, yeah. Keep drinking this shit. Dice Jesse, pa que me traiga una paleta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ya la encargó, ya la encargó. I'm uh, holding him che, to it. Jesse. <laughs> But thank you to all the bands. To all the bands, muchísimas gracias para toda la gente sure. que nos sigue apoyando. Um, thank you very much, man. Uh, subscribe. Compa José Salmeo the Sound. Go read a book. Mi compa Chabelo. Yeah, a los dude. compas de puro compa chingado. Un saludo. Read a book, compas. La positiva. Pew, 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 pew,